carry my dice around there. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Kyle. <laughs> Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. <laughs> Line. Now you're on your own. Wait, what? Uh, no! <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Murder Hobo, Inc., the D&D edition, the Dungeons and Disease. Your houses are now your dungeons. The disease is COVID-19 knocking at your door. Tonight, to entertain you, we have brought you four more victims to, well, one victim, one's Frank. The rest I, are... I will be dying him. later. Witnesses. <laughs> Or sooner, we don't know for certain. And uh, let me fix that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow uh, Frank. Why don't you do the introduction? Follow us on Twitch. Know. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy some of our cool stuff, like you know, <sighs> iPhone cover, uh, T-shirts, shit like that. Uh, tinyurl.com uh, RPG swag. And uh, if you want to chat with us on Discord, tinyurl.com M Hobo Inc. Discord. Back to you, Kyle. Ah, uh, thanks. What happens next? <laughs> line, <laughs> line, line, carry. Oh my god! No. You tell them. Oh, tonight's episode is the Swamp Kingdom, where I have written a story about two years ago. I forgot about it, and then I opened it up thirty minutes ago to prepare it, and I realized I didn't actually finish it to begin with. So, with that adventure in mind, we have four players, one victim. We will start with the ever-wonderful, the ever-beautiful Frank. Frank, introduce yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your normal DM, your your king of DMs, if you will. Uh, but tonight, I am uh, taking a backseat to Kyle's uh, adventure, and I am just looking forward to dying for the third fucking time in a row at the hands of these uh, colossal... Uh, individual role-playing players tonight i will be breaking in a new set of dice uh courtesy of at pirate dog dice uh and hopefully they roll high enough to kill carol within a six count Uh, i am playing lascivious girthwood a high elven pirate i am well adept to going ahead and wandering through the swamps of this wasteland while trying to assist these other three individuals in high adventure back to you kyle uh next we will go to carol Carol, please introduce your character hi everyone i'm carol and tonight (laughs) (laughs) i can't ignore that uh hi i'm carol i'm playing my one of my favorites i'm playing my Human rogue, Rainia. I will try anything once, maybe even a high elf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I assume oh. she means Adora Spindle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would count. That would count anything once. That's somebody gross, wants Carol. a saber ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David. Up to you. Who are you playing tonight? Uh, who am I killing? All right, I am David, and I am trying to make my parents proud with the liberal arts studies that they paid so much money for. Anyway, I am uh, playing Fernando tonight, a minotaur valor bard. Think of this big minotaur wandering minstrel that sounds like Barry White. Oh, God. Well, well there, you, there you go there. That's who you should go after. <laughs> ah. <coughs> oh, and he likes to talk. He likes sometimes he likes to talk in the third person. So. Great. <laughs> and yes, Abba was the inspiration for Fernando. All right. there, and there you that go. Was awesome that was awesome and amazing that. and interesting. And I, I enjoyed every single word you said there. I, I can tell. <laughs> Let's go with K- uh, Caitlin. Caitlin, you're about to call me Carol. <laughs> Same difference, honestly. Oh. <laughs> you're both there's, those elitist East Coasters. Uh, East Coast is the best coast. Just kidding. California is fantastic. Um, I am Aurora Spindle. Maybe a princess. Maybe not. Who knows? Hi, Elf. And I am a paladin. I am 
sadly related to let me just how do we say your name but like cousin whoa 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 like i'm gonna times. need some uh, legal documentation on that <laughs> <laughs> kiss we kicked you out a long time ago so i became a pirate or like this the title is not you don't look like me kid <laughs> <laughs> uh that's true or the <laughs> Seduction. Seduction <laughs> you got to say it in a Sean Connery accent now, Frank. Oh, I can't do that one. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know what? I'll work on that. I, I don't think I'm going to mute myself and work on that one while Kyle blathers on about how stupid this adventure is. You're muted. Disappeared. Hey everybody, it's back to me, Kyle, the DM of this adventure. I'm not listening to whatever the producer has to say behind the screen. You're a retard. Anyway, before- Don't use that <laughs> word, you're bad, on, Kyle. Bad. Oh. <sighs> Remember, mature audience is only. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, before I forget real fast, sure. there is an- I need more Plus bourbon. one armor, pearl of power up for grabs, potion of water breathing, and a mace of disruption. I forgot to tell you guys all this in the past. Oh, so yeah, good DM I, would have put that one out in the green room. Yeah. 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 Hey, so someone didn't read the adventure. Uh, can I have water breathing? Oh, that was what I wanted because I don't think I want anything else. There. Armor! Armor! <laughs> Is it leather by chance? It can be if you want it to be. I, I mean, like leather. <laughs> you oh. And what's the other uh, healing Pearl potion? Of power. A Pearl mace? of power and oh. a mace of disruption. Hmm. What's I'm not one? using any of those, so I guess I will take nothing. You want the potion? You can have the water. Is that? Is that? Well, yeah. What's the All Pearl? Right. Two Pearl of white? Oceans of water breathing. Pearl of power, which gives you an extra spell slot. Oh. Uh, I'm not giving you the potions of long or short rest. Fernando either, would like that. Either that or I take the armor. I mean, oh the armor too, but... I'm already wearing it and you don't have a high enough charisma to get me out of it. I've lost control and I'm okay with it because I what have made you? this adventure too easy uh, and I'm going to have the swamp falls and everyone dies. That's it. <laughs> By swamp falls, you mean lascivious Girthwood goes ape shit and kills everybody during a long rest. No, yeah, I don't. Sure. No, uh, Hyos don't have to rest. We just meditate. Try to All... kill you then. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna kill you. Quickly. It's All right. still a rest. <laughs> All right. Meditate with my eyes open. Oh my. Kill them all. Seduction okay. comes from behind tonight. <laughs> oh man. All right. And each of you got two healing potions. Remember that? Okay. And while you write that all down, um, let's start. Swamp Valley Kingdom. I even have a huge write up. If it sounds terrible, it's because uh, my toddler wrote it, not me. Don't worry about me. <laughs> He's just referring to his middle school self. That's why he has that. Hey, no folks, bug. don't believe it. The toddler probably do better. Toddler would do better. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. So 30 years ago, the lively kingdom of Nalumbo, a prosperous, powerful, if small valley kingdom, became utter ruin when the great dam was broken, unleashing a torrent of water, roaring through the farm's hamlets. Even the believed unbreachable castle walls felt the fury of this newfound tide. Hundreds were washed away, flung off the cliffs to the south of the village. Yay! Um, Fuck those people. <laughs> <laughs> drowned or never to be found. King Berthalotti and Queen Alba were never heard from again. Neighboring kingdoms answering a call to... Wow, I cannot read my hand. <laughs> Told you, middle school self. That's Call to arms to. by past treaties and even adventuring companies came to the aid of the kingdom. Seeing nothing but destruction and danger, the kingdom, with no living heir to the throne, was declared expired. A surviving member of the household claimed that Princess Tetsuda was away, but no investing came of it. Welcome to present day. 
A mercenary company by the name of the Restored Nalumbo claims that the captain is none other than Princess Tetsuda herself, and she seeks to reclaim the valley. She calls on old alliances of the neighboring kingdom to send troops into the now dangerous, unforgiving territory, but all scoff and demand proof of her heritage. They demand that she show the crown and scepter of her birthright. Here, the party enters. Captain Tetsuda asks them to go into the castle, retrieve the items. She also, on the side, has asked for information on her parents, if you can find it, and promised them a <laughs> personal fortune or favor. If they could... <laughs> personal fortune or favor, if they could bring back her mother's locket and her father's signet ring. They are informed of various tidbits and rumors about what they may find. The spirits of the land have it, are inhabited by undeath lizard folk. All of this uh, orchestrated from the beginning. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But the people warn you that there's only two times during the year, the spring or the fall, because there are so many alligators in the swamp you want to catch them while they are currently sleeping or about to wake up. You don't want to go in the wintertime because you will freeze to death. And if you go in the summertime, the wild magic surges that have shown up will destroy you. The wild magic surges. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so the question is, shit, I realized I didn't prepare something else. Uh, <laughs> well, there was no question. There was no question. Um, the question is, do you guys want to attempt the spring right now, get it over and done with as quickly as possible? Or do you want to wait until the fall when the alligators are more likely to be sleeping and less hungry or horny? Well, I will be ninth level in the fall. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, what do you think, guys? Winter, uh, let's do this shit. Yeah. Now, let's do it now. For, the Fernando not care. That's right up Lascivious Girthwood's alley. No, guys, keep talking about it a little bit longer if you want to. <laughs> as much as you would... Ah, shit, that's not a sharpened pencil. Wait, why can't as we do summertime? As much as you want to. Huh? No summer? Summer's the Sturges. Summer's when the... Yeah, and the alligators will eat us because they're awake and hunting. Or try to have sex with you. That's what alligators do. I always wanted oh, sorry. To that was the producer belt. saying that alligators are going to sleep with you. Can the producer be heard to everybody out there? Nope. nope. Nah, it's just like the voice of God for us or the voices inside your head. Like That's voice. why she keeps yelling, shut up, Carol. <laughs> shut up, Carol. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Kyle. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, same difference. Hey, I'm ready to go. Let's go, DM. DM, you, can we go? Let's go. Ready? Let's. I want to go? go get some uh, pelts. All right, that sounds <laughs> wonderful. You're on Let's the stick. totally right. do this Parata. right now. What's the part about improv, uh, improvising an entire scenario? That's what we're going to learn tonight. If only no. Kyle would have watched between the roles. I, I never do, and I never will. I mean, what? Oh, it's a crocodile, not an alligator. Okay, same difference. Just say, uh, oh, what do they call it? <gasps> one's freshwater and one's saltwater. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's a caiman. Definitely a caiman. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, okay, we are doing... Crocodilian. That. There you go. So, guys, you are at this wonderful... Here's my well-drawn map right here. Right there. Yeah. Oh. You can see where the kingdom was and where the waterfall, and then it ends there. That's where all the people were like, ah, and splattered to their death. That and looks you're like right. a picture of your duodenum. What are you showing us? Exactly. <laughs> says our anyway. dead clinic at the bottom. Well, yeah, how did you know about that? <laughs> uh, I'm 55. I've already been. <laughs> um, far less painful than you're led to believe. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Do they? Do they lube or chalk? I was unconscious. I don't give a shit. I was out. I don't want to hear this conversation. I've got the pictures. I can go ahead and upload those two. I don't want to see that. 
We're not finishing this adventure tonight, guys, again. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> God, All Kyle, right. if so only you as didn't you have guys are players. at the top of the valley and you choose to descend down the path, what marching order do you guys have? Mm. Fuck that shit. Okay. I went first last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Frank is first. Gotcha. <laughs> No, either me or... Yes, yes. I'll be second. Yes. Okay, I guess I'll go first. I got good perception, so that should help. Yeah, sure. Well, what you do is you perceive that as you're going down the path, it's fairly safe <clears throat> until a tree starts growing out the side. What? Yep. So, guys, would you do me a favor? Uh, oh. You need to get around this tree if you want to get down. Um, is Gotta there... get up to get down. What would that be? Acrobatics? If you want to grab around the tree and swing around or grab up oh, to a branch. I have a dexterity of 20. I'm all for doing that shit. <laughs> we can't Actually, go... I'm, all, I'm for it. <laughs> no. Let the go bowl under... go. What's that? Can't go under the tree? Would you like to try? <laughs> How big's the, the gap? Hey, it's literally growing from the pass itself you've got about like a foot walking space you should be fine unless you want to swing yeah I high elf swing. Go ahead and do that high elf. how big is the tree Want to blocking swing. your path no but it could be like a foot it's blocking That's your path it, if you don't move you're gonna get a foot <laughs> <laughs> oh there we are so are you swinging from the branches, or are you just going to sidestep the tree as best as you can? Oh, oh, hell, uh, yeah! How do you want to get by this tree? I was going to swing, you know, down the. When I was going to, I remember that adventure on the ship. But you know, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to swing from the branches, like a yeah, monkey, like a monkey. Oh yeah, that was a much better roll than the nat one when I tried the thing on the ship. That's a twenty-eight. That's a twenty-eight. You fall to your death. Uh, <laughs> Yes. I'm and happy. then you I catch that and last coat. root and swing yourself back up to the other side. Aurora, you're next in line. How would you like to get by this train? Uh, you going to swing as well, or are you just going to sidestep? My character's been enough to sidestep. Tall and lanky is what I am. Sure. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, you can roll athletics or acrobatics. You just want to have a sure step as you go around here, and hopefully you don't slip on a rock. 25. I got a nat 20. You fall to your death, too. All right, <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> Fernando is going to try to swing from the tree. All right. All right. Nat 20, baby. <laughs> All right, now roll that at disadvantage, because you're, no, you're fine. <laughs> Hooves. And finally, lascivious... Uh, 14 plus six or 14 plus five. So 19. Yep. You guys are good. You'll continue on your way down there a little bit further. And there is yet another fucking problem with the path. And that is part of the path is missing. So we get to leap. You got to leap this time. It's just grass. No, oh God. What is that? Is that athletics? That would be athletics to jump. <gasps> How far to the floor? Unless you would like to try something else to get across. Uh, you had about 60 feet to get to the floor. And that's the trees that are going to slow your fall before you get to the floor. Hell, I got rope. I don't give a shit. Yeah, if you want to try. <laughs> rope would be help good right now, unless there's an acrobatic way to do that, too. Yeah, I got right. rope. I say we go with the rope. I want to go with the rope. And only a five foot gap, guys. How far can you not jump? Oh, I'm going to jump. jump. <laughs> <laughs> Athletics, please, so as you jump. Uh, but since do... you're in the back, uh, go ahead and roll a d12 against everybody else, too. Eight on the d12. Uh, 19 plus five on the dex. Cool. Everyone else roll a d12 for me. A d12? Yep. <laughs> Out of my way. You want to beat an eight. <laughs> uh, I We're gambling I got, now. I got a 12. You're good, Kara, Arania. Dea, Fernando. 
Hmm, Fernando rolls an eight. You are good as well. Aurora? I got a three. I push her off the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Make a strength saving throw to save your life. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, you should be pretty good. Uh, Math. Eight. That's I know, 18. No, I got it. 18. 18, yeah. Lisv- lascivious yeah. runs by you, shoulder checks you to find a wall, but he just spins around and jumps over the little five foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how he does it. <laughs> because I was a pirate. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. What else do you guys getting across? I'm going to do a layout, super crazy gymnastics shit sure. going on here. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it's a 21. Yeah, you'll hop right across real easy. It's not a hop, it's a layout. It's like your whole body spins on the side and you get over to the other side. Some like ninja Oh, no, wait, is there a rope or no? There's no, no rope. I got no it rope. over here. <laughs> oh, so it's like I made it over, guys. Just holding it. <laughs> I mean, I can try <coughs> jump. I mean, I've, I am in positive numbers. It's not great, but I'm in positive numbers. I do have rope, by the way. And I think, do I not have a grappling hook? I have a rope. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to try to jump it. I'm probably going to fall and kill myself, but hey, Frank will be happy. Saves oh, no. me from killing you. <laughs> I'm not going to fall and kill myself with a 17. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations. And Fernando. Fernando snorts and then kicks his hoofs, kicks some dirt off, and just goes for it. I rolled a natural 20. Yay. Nice. My dice are hot right now. <laughs> I just jinxed them. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I'm going Fernando to... Late. Oh, no. There's another problem in the trail. The trail. Fernando, <laughs> keep rolling. <laughs> No, you guys are up there. You manage to jump across the ledge. You go down 40 feet until you get to the tree line. There's another fucking problem. What? The path has fallen away again, but you do have a little bit of a ledge. This time, however, it's a 15-foot jump. Uh. Or you can scale the ledge, and hopefully it'll hold your weight. Who's wearing heavy armor, by the way? And uh, there is a minotaur, right? There yeah, it's okay. a minotaur. Got that. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. We can do it one. Oh, 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 oh. So it's it's just forty feet down. Forty feet to the tree line. Uh, use, let's use some pittons and drop rope here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's use two pittons since we've got Fernando. <laughs> he goes last. <laughs> he goes last. Mm-hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Aurora yeah. can catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone roll a d20. Don't roll a one. Fernando. Uh, six? Just a straight d20, right? Straight. Straight d20. Six. That's Fernando. Twelve. You're good. You guys are all good. Hey, all the right. pittons hold, especially that first one when it comes about. But Fernando, you got that second pitten in there, and you are good. Yeah. <laughs> you guys lower yourself down into the swamp. As your feet hit the water, it's, cold, uh, it's chilly, and the sunlight is already plenty dark. You see the rays that you normally would, but otherwise, there's a few birds chirping around, slightly there, muffled by the water. Is there any sign of Prince Baron? Prince Baron. Flash! Oh! oh. <laughs> He saved uh, every one of us. Whoa. Sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> millennials. Fine. That that is a great movie. It's held the test of time. Yeah, of course. That's yeah. definitely held the test it was of a time. Fucking That's James why we Bond. Know about James it. Bond was Prince Baron. I don't know um, that either. Who? What? I was James like, Bond? Yeah. He he was James Bond for all of one movie, I think. Was it Roger two? Moore, huh? I love Roger Moore because Roger Moore's classy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this had alcohol in it. Me too. Trust me, <laughs> I've done this show drunk plenty of times. It doesn't get any better drunk. 
still remember it. All right. So, oh, all right. sadly, I as you get down all. into the bottom, your feet are getting drenched. They're starting to get cold. <laughs> Some of you start even starting to get numb. Who actually was paying attention on their way down and know what direction to go? Because I put the pittens in the wall. Yeah. Wasn't so it I need to go crotch? on the right side. I thought we were just crossing over this 15 foot area and then back up. No, but, yeah. Oh, you yes. lowered yourself into the swamp, unless you really do want to go climbing back up. I well, I know the rope is like this, and we were over here, so I need to go to this side of the rope. Sure. <laughs> well, I mean, you're in the aisle, swamp you're care. supposed to be in, so. Well, we're mm. looking for a locket and a signet ring somewhere. You are looking for that in the castle, as you have been informed, say. which is in the center of the valley. Oh, we'll we... see. It doesn't fucking matter. We just need to go to the center. We're at the yeah, yeah, where's the center? That's what I'm asking. Away from the mountain walls? High elves know shit. <laughs> 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 All right. As you guys are starting to traverse through the swamp, there is a bit of a drier path if you want to. However, it takes a little bit of a longer way out, or out and around. Or if you decide to go straight through the path, you will, who cares, walk through waist deep, possibly even neck deep water at times. How do you guys want to go? And uh, choo, 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 don't choo. do grossness. Let's I want to do the drier path. Yeah. Yeah, Fernando. I, I will uh, follow the others. Short For enough that I will be in the next heap water. <laughs> Fernando, good are you that. leading the way? Yeah, I'll lead the way. All right. And who's running after her? Running? We're just casually walking. Casually I hiking through the swamp, <laughs> staying six feet apart. Yes. Social, yes. Distancing. Social distancing. Nice, yeah. healthy, six feet apart. <laughs> so who's after Rainia? Fernando. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Fernando. Ugh, gross. What color did I make you? You're white, second, but it's okay. After Fernando. Aurora. 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 And finally, the back stack. I mean, Lascivious in the back. Lascivious in Girthwood. All right. You guys I have my thick saber at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are walking around during the drier path. Shut the fuck up, Carol. I'm talking over you. <laughs> As you guys are walking through the drier path, uh, Rainia, you don't actually notice this, but if Fernando decides to say something in the back, he mentions and sees a lizard folk hunting party. Fernando, see lizard folk hunting party. Kind of points the way. Mm -hmm. oh, Tra -la -la -la. And at uh, this point, they don't notice you yet. So you can either let them. Civilized people, how dare they? <laughs> that would be the smart thing to do. I shut the <laughs> door. They're kind and don't here. Answer. Oh, they're yeah. kind. Well, someone's racist. Wow. wow. They xenophobe. went there, huh? Aurora xenophobe spindle. <laughs> <laughs> no wow. one's surprised by that. Let's be honest. Well, I have Ray of Frost as a cantrip, so I can light these fuckers up if you guys want me to. But, there in, but there's no real reason to unless they attack us. We could just let, keep them be. Mm -mm, no, they, we don't want that kind around ever. <laughs> don't even let them reproduce. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, there we go. There's our murder hobo of the evening. That's the high elves. There's the high elf. <laughs> what, what, That's the high elves we what? know and love. We may need those spells for later. What? That's we'll a just cantrum. meditate if you guys carry us. And we'll get the spells. Um, I know. I want my best too. Thank you very much. I just want to get out of this shit. Spot. As you guys are talking amongst yourself, the lizard book party continue Notice. along their way, but Rainia, Fernando, that's actually the direction you're heading in. And they are carrying a boar with them, so it looks like they might possibly be returning back to the tribe. Uh, Let's give them diseases to bring back. How's the stealth in this party? 
Pretty good. I got leather, so I'm good. Uh, very, very, very good, actually. Not the stealthiest. I have escape angry husband as a <laughs> 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 nice. I've uh yeah, I've got a leather covered breastplate. Fabulous black with a rose embossed on it. But anyway, yeah, I have no disadvantage with it. So let's go. <laughs> I just have a 10 on my stealth, so no disadvantage. All right. Frank and just walks away. Then if you guys are going for it. <laughs> are we going to go for it or what? Just quietly behind them. How far uh, are you keeping? All right. About the 17. Distance we are now, 17 as well. 17. What kind of armor are you wearing, Aurora? Oh, shit. Right. I do have a disadvantage. Yep. Don't worry. It's not like they rolled a net 20 on their perception. No, it's not. No, no, no. No way. 13 for Fernando. Oh, dude. <laughs> 17 plus. Uh, Let's take a roll. Shitload. <laughs> Five, so twenty-three. That's a shitload. I'm a wow. sneaky bastard. And Caitlin is double that, man. I just rolled crappy. All right, so disadvantage. I have to roll twice, right? Take yeah. The lower. Yep. Lower. Fifteen. So this is still not bad. Fifteen. All <laughs> right. No, you guys follow them um, for quite a distance, and one of you who rolled the lowest on that one, I Fernando. Think yeah, 13. You find yourself in a hole that's unnoticed in the water, and you go splashing down, at which point the lizard folk that you've been following splash. all turn around, light take them up a look at you. Ray of Frost, light them up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, hey, man. Roll to attack. How, how far away If are that's they? what you'd like to do. They're 80 feet. You guys decided to keep your distance. Uh, there are three plain yes. old lizard folk, and then there are two larger ones who are carrying this huge shit. I just threw my notes on the floor. <laughs> Four between They're them. carrying huge shit. <laughs> See, it's huge all these people. Ugh. So, uh, Frank, you were going to attack real fast? Yeah, I need to move up to 60 feet, so I'll move up 20 feet. <clears throat> Shouldn't be a problem. My speed is 30. Sure. Uh, and I will hit the one at the very back. Okay. Ooh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, 11? I don't think I got him. No, that would miss. With that, guys, let's roll into initiative. Yeah. Way to go, Frank. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, what 19 plus 5, 24. Uh, 14 for Fernando. Okay. 17 for Rania. And 19 for Aurora. All right. Does Hiles do it best? Oh, dear God. <laughs> okay. All you know right. what we're doing out of the way, peasants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Besides, we're going to cut them up and make them into leather. That's the only thing they're good for. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lascivious. Aurora is wrong. I'm cutting off a head and using it as my new helmet. That's All fine. Right. So you manage to run ahead. You fling a frostbolt at him. It misses. And you're moving fast enough that it's up to you again. You are currently 60 feet away. Uh, still 60? Uh, yeah. 30 more feet. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to magic missile uh, one of just one of those fuckers. So I'm going to hit him with all three. There are five in total. I don't care. I'm just going to try and kill one. Okay. As I give out a blood curdling battle scream. Three, three, two. Uh, so nine plus uh, three is 12 on one of the lizard folk. All right. Just one of your basic ones. That's right. Okay. With that, uh, I scream Aurora. out, come to me, future belt. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora, you see Lascivious go running forward. He's way ahead of you about, what did we decide now? Uh, I am now 30 feet distant. 
he's 50 feet away from you and you are 80 feet away from the lizard folk. Jesus, this is how I fucking die all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to lag back. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm going to use my longbow. Okay, uh, here it comes. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> my spine. <laughs> It's okay, just like turn to the side again. Hiles, we're thin, we're fine. Oh, yeah, you'd think. Roll that one so that I can put you on the hit list. Kill her, kill her. No. All right, it is 15 to hit. Who are you going wow. after? Wait, none of one of them got hit yet? Yes, one of them did. Only I'll one do of them the got one, hit. The one that got hit, I'll attack him. All right, yeah. Uh, you managed to just squeak by his shield as an arrow flies. High by. elves stick together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, eight damage. Okay. Wait, oh, I get two attacks. You get two attacks at this level. Uh, an arrow goes flying right past his shield. You barely nicked it, and you hit him in the neck. He is still standing up, though. It is. It, yeah, it. It. Go. All right. 16, I hit him again. You hit him again. Do All you right. do more than two damage? Uh, yeah. You have slain one of the lizard folk. Yeah, screw that guy. Okay. Gross. I spit <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Rainia, you are up. You are also 80 feet back, 50 feet away from Frank. Um... I'm just going to use burn all my actions to move up into combat. All the way up into combat. There are four of these things. Uh, it's just come up to me. They're up there, but they're up there, right? Well, wait, the, the uh, paladin's up there, right? Nope. No, I'm back oh, here. Oh, no. I got my longbow. <laughs> all right, I'm use... I thought this through. <laughs> then I'm going to move what have I got? All right, I'm going to move two actions, and... If I was to cast a spell, was that supposed to be during my turn? Well, yeah. Generally, okay. yes. Depends. What were you thinking? Aid. Aid? That's... that's okay. Would have taken up your action. Yeah, all right. And it's usually round. a good out-of-combat spell anyway. I mean, I guess I could... Yeah, see, I don't have... I wouldn't have my short bow out, so... I'm just going to, I'm not, you're right, I'm not going to move up all the way then. I'm going to just do two moves and be 20 feet away. 20 feet? All right. You run past Lascivious. Lascivious giving you the sidelong look like, yeah, I could probably. I'm sure. There's lots a good of excuse. Hey, wait, there's a lot of cover here, isn't there? There are some sparse trees. Uh, roll me a d12. Okay. Because I think I can, I can actually try and make a stealth check to hide, uh, and then spring at them later. That's an eight. Eight. There are about three trees near you, where you could decide to dash behind one of those, and there are uh, four trees over where Fernando and Aurora are hiding it. The fuck, uh, everybody's gonna... hiding and I'm out in the open again? Jeez. I'm saying they're hiding because they're 80 feet back. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick one of the ones near where I landed up and I'm going to try to make a self check. You can choose to be about 40 feet away or you can choose to be about 20 feet away. Which would you prefer? 20. 20? That's where I'm going to be. It was 20 feet away. Okay. That would be my full, that'd be full 60 feet of move. And then, so to hide, that's a 20. It's 20. You are good to go, you think. I think. Yeah, it's always... Think. I... Sure. And finally, uh, Fernando, bringing up the rear, what would you like to do? Uh, would you like Fernand to charge right up past everybody? Not really. Okay. <laughs> do what you're going to do. Sorry. I won't, I won't no, interrupt no, no, again. No, 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 no. I'm going to charge up 20 feet. And I am going to let loose a slew of insults about these reptilians marrying with the world's ugliest mammals. And mm -hmm. they're going to have to do a wisdom check. 
Is this all of them or one in particular? Just one in particular, the closest one. The one that I find the most foul. They're all foul. Fockery. At this point, the two big guys are in the back. You have a preference? Or you want to go for one of the tinier <laughs> ones? Yeah, let's go for the big guy. One all right. Wisdom all right. saving throw. Does a nine probably fails, I imagine, yeah? Yep. All right. All right. He takes, uh, let's see. Uh, he is going to take a whopping total of seven psychic damage, have his feelings hurt, and be at disadvantage. Ooh. Uh, saves and attacks. Nah. I think that's how it goes. That is uh, just there attack always. rolls. I just believe, attacks. If I remember. Okay. Right. okay. Yeah. Correct. Let's see. At that point, we have the monsters. One of the lizard folks pulls a horn up to his lips oh, and blows. And at that point, starts making a run for it and gets farther away from you guys. The other one will chuck a javelin at our good buddy Lascivious. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to miss. Uh, 19 to hit? 19 is, does hit me. Wow. Okay. That is you my AC. Take seven damage. Wow. Damn. Hold on. Wow, shock. I've been hit already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least it wasn't like 20 times like the at other. At least guy. it wasn't you fuckers. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We didn't roll one to attack and hit you instead. Yeah. He will actually, oh no, I decided to mute you guys while not muting myself. I'm going to keep talking until I can hear everybody. Hi, everybody. Say hi. Say oh, hi. Nice. Oh, God, that's too loud. All right, we're going to bring it right back down. Okay. The <laughs> two big guys are going to rush. They drop this huge white boar because I'm all about the white and their nasty brown, ruddy skin. Uh, they run past it. And this side of Zoom is completely xenophobic. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, huh? All right. One of the guys pulls out a shield and makes a stab at you, Lavernus. And that is a. Who the fuck is you, Lavernus? That's <laughs> <laughs> my no sister. Hey, oh my hey you know what? You know what? For that, it rolls at advantage. Uh, right. A 19 to hit you again. Yep. That needs to be your next character. Lavernus. <laughs> Lavernus again. Uvula. <laughs> um, <laughs> nine points of damage, and then it proceeds to attempt to bite you. Does a 13 hit? Oh, it bites my armored junk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Teeth scraping off the tip of your armored junk. That's right. The other one. Right in the codpiece, bitch. At you. <laughs> and just straight up attacks. This is the one that is ooh, disadvantage. At disadvantage. And he manages to injure his friend by stabbing him in the spear as he trips. So he was aiming for my cod piece. Probably the biggest target on my body. I'm just. <laughs> oh, yeah. No just stuff. to have you now. That's right. However, That's after like an stabbing AC his friend in the shin. Uh, he bites at you for 23. Savage, these people. And with this one, he sinks his teeth in for... God damn, I should really have this written Oh, down. that wasn't 23 hit points. Okay. No, no, <laughs> not 23 hit points. Holy uh, shit. I'm close like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need healing. Uh, you take five damage as he bites oh. into you. And then he proceeds to get really awful and does an additional seven points as he what? rips your flesh out. <coughs> the big guy. Or the big guys. Say, this is what happens when humans have weird fetishes of animals. These creatures exist. Hey, it's I'd, called I'd like to thank erotica. for drawing their attention to me. <laughs> There's going to be All some right. ass whooping here. Hi, Frank, <laughs> you are up now. Do I get advantage on the guy biting my junk? Who took a bite out of your junk? Oh, oh the guy one. who stabbed the other one? Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you have advantage on him. Uh, I get two attacks, so I'll go after that fucker first. 
Sure. Eleven's uh, the best I can do. Plus uh, eight. Uh, so nineteen. That'll hit. And uh, is he still alive? Oh, I haven't done damage yet. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, These are the big guys, Frank. Come on. Yeah, I don't give a shit about those guys. <clears throat> okay. First one, first damage is nine. I assume mm-hmm. he's still alive. He, oh yeah, he's perfectly uh, fine. <laughs> and you know what? Fuck him. Ray of Frost on him. Uh, sixteen Shoot. plus five, twenty-one. That'll hit. And 2d8. 8 and 4. And 8 and 4. So 12. 12 more on him. Nice. I froze him like the ugly chick at the bar. No way. (laughs) Yeah. Ice is spread out across his chest. He seems to be moving a little bit slower and does not like that. Um, we are to I Aurora. Could use some help up here. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora, you are still 80 feet back where you have been shooting through the trees with a bow. What would you like to do? Um, um, there's only three left now. No, two. There are three because one took off running. Two and big guys. Uh-huh. There's one who's hiding behind a tree who didn't run, and then the one who blew the horn and ran. You can still see him, but it would be a difficult shot. Okay. Um, Get the guy biting my junk. How far away am I from Lavicious? Lascivious. Lascivious. I I don't even know why. (laughs) Reading, math. I'm a millennial. I don't need those skills. (sighs) (laughs) It's Lassie. That's who we were here away from. You are 50 feet away from Lassie. All right. Yeah, we'll do nickname Lassie. That works. Uh, yeah, no, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I ray of frost my party. I join the lizard folk. <laughs> I move up. You move up how many feet? 20 feet to be 30 feet from Lassie. Okay, yeah, you're standing right next to the bull man, Fernando, who you were just racist to earlier for being half man, half bull. He doesn't. Yeah, I was talking I'm about sure. the lizard people. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, all all weird creatures like that. No, no, no. So, us, <laughs> yeah, anamorphic people just, yeah. I know where I stand in your book, Missy. Sure. All, all right. right. And Bro. then I'll cast aid. Just a filthy human, after all. Okay. So, He's a minotaur. I'm a minotaur, babe. Yeah. All right. So whose turn? My turn. What level so, are you casting aid real fast? And go ahead and explain your spell. Uh, unless you would like me to explain it for you. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Is he I'm a nerd. Explaining? No, I'll be DM splaining. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm DM splaining. Yeah. She's half you guys high elf splaining. Five or ten extra health. I can cast- use 10. Wait, what are you casting in all seriousness? Can I cast a third? No, I can't cast a third level. You can't spell cast yet. its third level. What's the matter? Oh, with you? Come shit. on, you're paladin. You're right. We're sick. All right, all right. So, first level. So, who's near me right now? You have Fernando. You have. Um, within 30 feet. Lassie within 30 feet. Okay. Unfortunately, Rainia has disappeared. You. Oh, you have to be able to see me. Well, you guys have to be 30 feet, so Lassie and Fernando both get extra five for the duration, and the duration lasts eight hours. There you go. So the rest of this adventure, unless extra I decide to... Extra five? Okay. Extra five what? Hit, Hit points. points. Oh, okay. That's not temporary. That increases your maximum. And I assume you give yourself the five extra hit points as well. Yeah, it's yeah if I'm three allowed people. to. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Got it. All right. Uh, I doubt you have a bonus action, so I'm just going to talk over you. Rania, you are hiding behind a tree. No one has spotted you. You are actually in a prime backstab for one of the um, big guys. This guy off my junk. Yeah, I'm going to. That's what I'm going to. I want back. Wait. Do I still get to attack if I have two actions, or is that considered both actions? 
to add you can cast a spell or you can make two attacks as an action. Okay, gotcha. I wasn't sure. And there Frank, you just so you know, you can cast one cantrip or make two attacks. I'll let it slide the first time because <laughs> your seduction skills earlier just... It, they are impressive, oh. even with my eight charisma on this character. <laughs> eight charisma? Damn. <laughs> All right. Hey, Rainy is more charming than you. I don't want to backstab whatever you said. I backstab. Plus, he's also in combat, so I would get it anyways. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, whoever I have a better angle on one of the big guys, I'm sure. making attacks because I've too much for the fighting. Oh, that. Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> nope. Those are going to both miss because that is like an 11 is the high one. <laughs> yeah, not on that guy. Fucking hell. <clears throat> All right, you are standing right next to a lizard man. God damn it. But hey, he might not have noticed you. He knows. Oh, he totally noticed me. I'm not <laughs> hiding. <laughs> All right. Fernando, if my rudder are... of love gets bit off, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, man. Fernando <laughs> sings a song of inspiration for Lascivious over here. And right. uh, he is also going to lead into Healing Word. Yay. You can either do a Healing Word or oh, you can Inspire. Oh, they're... Oh, oh, okay. They're both bonus actions. They're both bonus actions? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you know what? I'll be nice. If you want to make nice. one of them an action, oh, that's inspire what I thought. for an, an action. Yeah, I thought Healing Word Wait, was an you action. You can do but... Healing Word as the first level. You can bump that up. Yeah, I'm going to bump he it could. up. Or, yeah, he <laughs> wants to. You don't have to either. It's not like Lassie is going to kill you later. Right, right. What? <laughs> so I'm going to ca I'm gonna cast Healing Word at third level, plus you got a D8. And uh, let's see. Eight and one, okay. So uh, nine plus, uh, let's see, four. So 13 points of healing. healing. All right, I'm going to take that down quickly. I'm going to have to pick that up later. You're going to take that down quickly on my junk. We will. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you up now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, it's back to the lizard folk. The one in the far distance continues to blow his horns, and is out of sight. The one behind the tree runs up, seeing Rania sneak out of her hiding position, makes an attack against you. But I think a don't take eleven much. misses. Yes. And that does miss. It don't take much to actually hit me because leather armor doesn't really add much. <laughs> All like, right. It adds a lot more. And with that, he goes back hiding behind a tree. Um, the big guy you tried to backstab is going to sh stab his spear at you. Fuck. He made another 11. But that misses. Well, are you injured perchance? Me? No. Yeah. All right. You're fine then. And then he is going to bite at what's his face? Does a 16 hit you, Lassie? All right, you are good to go. You bit my junk. <laughs> kill you. Does a 21 hit you? Oh, Just barely. I think he All bit right. your junk that time. Yeah, I might have bit my junk that time. And does a 23 also hit you? I'm I'm checking for a friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. That's good. 19 is your magic number to hit me. All right. So, so you got two that, chomps on your junk, huh? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful <Yes>. junk. <laughs> the greatest junk you'll ever see. Is your is your cod piece diamond studded to make it harder to bite through? You're going to have to pay for my website to find out. <laughs> you take five points of uh, piercing damage and it stabs its spear into you. And then it bites down again for four damage, and again, rending your flesh, it pulls away, doing 12 more. Oh my god, that's horrible. Does it rip it off? A little bit, yeah. Oh god. That's this okay. one is starting to look well-fed, by the way. Yeah, it's about to be well-fed with my sword. All right, Lassie, you're up. You've got her up, Lassie. Uh, two uh, melee attacks. And you, you know guys what? want to play flanking rules or no? Nah, fuck flanking rules. 
Uh, right. I was going to give you advantage if you wanted to attack one of them. You know what? I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm also going to take an action, action surge, and I'm going to go <laughs> shit on fuckers. All right. Uh, there's a one. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a 21. Okay. And that's a 19. All of them hit, except for the one. Except for the we'll one. We'll figure out who that hits. Uh, if you want to... You, would you like me to roll, or would you like to roll who you hit? Yeah, it's either him or me, that's for sure. Uh, odd, I assume it's me. Oh, I was going with all three. Oh, then I hit... Well, I can't hit uh, Aurora. Oh, if you I throw your weapon, away? you do. I'm not throwing that weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, take that hit. I'll take that hit. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, nice. Uh, 20 damage to one of those fuckers. The injured one. All right. What did you roll an even or an odd? I rolled an odd, a one. Okay. That is a you. D4. Okay. Okay. Uh, how much did you do to one of them? 20. I assume uh, the one that's been tearing the shit out of you? Yes. Or you want to go after the wounded one? Nope. Uh, well, the one that's wounded. I want to kill something. Okay. Uh, and then I take half. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. And that's it for me. And that's it for you. We go down to Aurora. Oh, I have weapon bond, so I couldn't hit Aurora. You could bring it back. Hmm. Nah, I'll take the hit. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora, you are up. You are standing next to the giant smelly-ass piece of beef next to you. And there are the two alligator bites in front of you. What would you like to do? Wait, they're right in front of me? No. Oh, They're 30 head? feet away. Well, they're 35 feet away. All right. I will... Oh, and there's Rainia. Hi. <laughs> she appears. Shoot it, Rainia. <laughs> <laughs> Frank wants to see me dead for blowing him up on that train. So... Fair. Frank will see you dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Obviously. I got, with my longbow, a... Man? 16 and a 15. 16 and a 15. Who are you aiming at? Can I aim one at each? One at each? Like, pew, pew. yeah. Which one are you aiming at first? Whichever one has, I don't know, the most health, I guess. Left or right? The one on the left is the most wounded. All right, then fine. We'll go left to right like we do in okay. order. Like, how All we right. <laughs> You are going to miss on one of those, depending on who you attacked, so. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So. Walking decision. Oh, my God. The first one gets seven damage. Okay. There's your battle map. There's everybody and all that. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing pants? Because <laughs> yeah. I like to let my dick hang out. <laughs> There's not much sway in it, but, you know, I like the breeze. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Just when you thought Indianapolis was the problem. And finally, your other attack. Is eight damage. Eight damage? Okay. Yep. Is this that fucker still sick. alive on my junk? Yeah. He's the one who's barely been touched. Oh, well, he got eight damage now. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, we move down to Rainia. Rainia, you're right. standing by. Hey, Rainia, if you could, like, hit something, maybe yeah, that might be helpful. No, I did ask if you wanted to play flanking rules, but since we're not. No, we're, no, it's fine. Um, all right, I'm going to do two shots at the one that's barely been hit that's trying to chew on his junk. You are actually not next to that one. Oh, then I'm going to hit that one. Just kill the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Those are going to be two hits because that's a, a 20 is the low one. I rolled a 19 on the die on the other one. So let's see. What am I using? What am I using for weapon there? Rapier? Come on. You know, start joining the fight here. Hey. And a D, another D6. Oh, God. Where's that card? Okay. So that's stop it. 8, 11, 14, 17, 18, and 4 is uh, 23. Okay. Right. Still standing? Oh. That was both attacks. Oh, that was both attacks, yeah. 
Yeah. Still standing. The guy's still I mean, standing? Guys, still standing. He looks bad, though. He's down on one knee. And I just did 20 to the fucker. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I just hit 20 to add 43, at least. Fernando, you are up. I am Unless... up. Okay. Yeah. I am going to take my movement. And, okay. Because uh, how far back was I? You are 30 feet back. You can join the action if you want to in one turn. Okay, I'm going to move 10 feet, and then I'm going to bonus action, Goring Rush. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, bitch. Yeah. So, stabbed in the ass. <laughs> it already. So, so with the Goring Rush, you dash forward and yep. make a melee attack? Sure. Okay. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> Don't just dare roll. You're one. at disadvantage in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, does uh, 18 hit? 18 hits. What's the least amount of damage you can do, by the way? The least Unless you want to roll for it. Uh, um, no. Okay, sorry. 1d6 plus 4. He's dead. Five. Okay, thanks. Yes, yeah, no, I didn't know if you wanted to roll for it or not. I didn't okay. want to take that away from you. Okay. All now, right. now that was my bonus action. So is there somebody within 10 feet? Uh, there is not. You'd have to keep moving around. Oh. And at that uh, point, you used all your movement. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. With that, we are back to the lizard folk. The one who was behind the tree sees what happens to the big guy and makes a run for it. And okay. he's going to Taco Bell. <laughs> last one going all out stabs at you and nat 20s you on the bite uh who who, who? frank you know uh, what we will just roll for it guys how about that but, i mean how far away is this guy from all of us He's it does go after frank oh. apparently <laughs> 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 all he right been five feet of me but he could move so okay Frank, the stab with the spear, you take seven points of damage. The bite, you take six. So we're at 13 now. And with the extra damage on top of that bite, you will take actually nine damage. Uh, are you still up? No, I'm dead. Oh, are you dead? No, I'm still okay. up. <laughs> I, I should have gotten eighth level, guys. Eighth <laughs> level. <laughs> I'm still up. All right, you are still up, and uh, at the start of your next turn, uh, Fernando and Rania, you hear drums in the distance. Yeah, because and war cries. Fucking buddies. Okay. Okay, and with that, Lassie, you're up first. Uh, can I take two attacks and an, uh, not the action surge, but the second wind? Sure. Yeah. Roll the attacks first, and then we'll roll the 14 uh, to hit. 17. Oh, yeah, both easily hit. Yep. Um, ooh, 15, 20 damage, or I'm sorry, 22 damage, okay. and then I will recover eight. Okay. okay. From Lassie, we go down to Aurora. Mm -hmm. You are up. It's just the one guy left? It is the one guy left. He How is bad going is he berserk. looking? Fairly uh, bad. Really? Yeah. Murder him. All right. We'll try. We should try, try and capture him and gain strength numbers. No, those people don't deserve to... <laughs> We tried Survive. that last one. They're crisis against For the fatherland. <laughs> oh my god. Oi. Um <laughs> Oi. Oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh my Jewish grandmother's gonna never mind. <laughs> he doesn't watch this, right? Let's She's gonna not. make you some latkes and a nice brisket. <laughs> Mazel tov. Does uh, 13 hit? 14. All right, then neither one hits. Wow. <laughs> All right. There's one guy left. 
You can hide behind that tree and let Lassie take over from here. What, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> no, I'm going to go up and shank him. And since he's in combat with Lassie, I still get sneaky attack. Mm-hmm. Fucking it. Oh, ow. oh, yes. That's an 18 and a 19 on the dice. Nice. So I wish I was playing my friggin' fighter where 19s were crazy. I wish you kill this fucking guy before he kills me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Okay, come on. I'm using your murder. Oh yeah, your murder of dice are not helping right now. Uh, I'm using the murder of dice and literally three of the three of the three d sixes was two ones and a two. At least oh, I've lasted an hour wow. and minutes this time. Oh. Let's see. All right, so that's 10, 15, 16, 17, and 4 is 21. 21. Wait. All right. Yes. He is actually looking pretty bad. <laughs> and we are at <laughs> Fernando. Fernando, though, you are going to have to roll if you want to kill him. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Fernando. So if you do want to swing this time, you can do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a swing. Okay. All right. Uh, first attack. Uh, the first one is, uh, does a 13 hit? 13 misses. Okay. 14 is your magic number. Okay, 14. You go. All right. Now you do a 1d6 plus 4? Uh, 1d10. I've got a oh. battle axe. I'm right. two-handed in that bitch. All right, All right, roll high. All right, let's hope so. <laughs> All right. Come on, Fernando. That's you're going down, Lassie. 10 plus 6, so 16 points of damage. On you this encounter, bury your axe into him. It's stuck in the tree, the head just kind of lops off. Mm -hmm. All right. And with that, all the monsters are dead. And at this point, Lassie, Aurora, even you guys begin to hear the war drums. And uh, Rainia, Fernando, you start hearing the screeches much louder getting much closer okay. we're gonna have company real soon probably all right i'm gonna reach out and uh grab lucivius and uh do cure wounds on him okay uh third level so yeah that's hopefully this helps <laughs> uh let's see 3d8 Rainia, while he's doing that, why don't you go ahead and make a Eleven. perception check? Eleven. All right. Fifteen points of, of healing, Frank. Uh, that's not great. That's a twelve. Yeah, that is terrible. That's yeah, not good there's, to see. there's stuff coming. You know that. I cut oh the head God. off that big fucker, hollow it out, and used it as a helmet. Can I, I make wanna... a perception check or no? Yeah, you can make a perception check. I want to Do you want to move up with everybody else? Um, yeah, I might as well join the party, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, everybody else wants to make a perception check. We'll go ahead and give it to them. Hey, DM, I want to go stealth. I want to go ahead a little bit and stealth. Can do that. Roll stealth right. check for me. Oh, Jesus. 17 perception. 17. 20, 24. Mm -hmm. 24. 24. You know that there's about tens of lizard folks coming for you. <laughs> tens? Ten. In the groups of tens. In the groups of ten. There could be 20, 30. <laughs> Fuck. I, uh, I only rolled a 16 on my stealth. 16 on your stealth. Okay. Oh, it's, that's two sixes in a row. Which is hey. normal number. You know what? It's going to be okay because. Probably. Does a 15 hit you? Yeah, actually, it does. That's, that's yeah. my AC. You have six points of damage as a javelin comes flying behind the tree you're trying to hide behind. Oh, shit. Someone in the tree? Oh. I back up. I, I go back to them. I'm like, they're coming. Ow, shoot. Pull the javelin out. <laughs> we'll say we, uh, you want to make that perception again, being up close and having been stabbed sure. with the javelin. Well, that was better. It's at least above a 10 this time. Uh, well, the, the roll is. That's a 17. Sure. You should run. You should, you should run. Really? 
I already know that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is the DM telling you, you should run. I run back to the party. That's what mm -hmm. I, I was doing. All right. At that point, party. Noises are getting louder. There's a lot of them. You start to see shadows in the trees ahead of you. What would you like to do? Go away from the trees. Huddle up. Of the shadows <laughs> into the other trees that don't have shadows. Go into the water. Roll a percentile dice for him. With the amphibious reptile men. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't they live in the water? 16 on percentile. The water is about at your ankles here. Oh, who gives a shit? About it? <laughs> <laughs> I am a high elf. I am getting the high out of here. <laughs> yeah. Head for the woods and try to stealth uh, stealth away around him. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. Not all of us are good at it, but that's my best plan right now. Well, you your guys are going blows. to start running. Stabbed. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me two athletics checks each. You oh. can do a strength acrobatics if you... A strength acrobatics? Uh-huh. Uh, Alright, so I'll take two off. 19, 24. 19, 24. Uh, 21 for Fernando acrobatics. And what? one more for you, Fernando. Fuck's sakes. We're trying to outdistance the lizard folk here. <laughs> uh, oh, I got no problems doing that. <laughs> do that, alright. 16. All right. <laughs> 16. 16. That'll mm -hmm. still hold you up. Uh, Carol, uh, Brainia. So I did strength acrobatics. So, okay. So that's a, God, hate my dice. Uh, 13 and 15 were the two rolls. You're <laughs> lagging behind, but you're able to keep up. What yep. is strength Saint acrobatics? Acro? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to spell it quickly. You can either make an athletics check, or I'm saying you can use your strength score plus your proficiency in acrobatics. Oh, okay. That is the patron saint of murder hobos, is what uh, that is. Saint, saint Acro. Acro. Oh, saint Acro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is now. Cannon. I'm calling Cranon. <laughs> okay. I have then a 16 and a 21. You keep well ahead of Rainia. And at that point, if you guys are going to try and hide, uh, someone else give me a percentile dice. Not all at once. I already right. went. Fernando, go. Oh, go. Right. You got it? Yeah. Uh, let's see. The D10. Yeah. Another uh, one. 15%. <laughs> see, mine was even higher. It is at ankles. But go ahead, someone roll a D12. Let's uh, go with. Oh, okay, fine. I rolled, but. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. I, rolled I was going to say, Rainia. I rolled a 10 on the D12. All right. Okay. You're good. <laughs> you have plenty of things to hide behind. Give me that stealth check now. Oh, Lord. All and of what? us are just her. Everyone who's hiding. All right. My dice friggin' decided that I should. <laughs> I was this folks. That's a 16. 15. Mm. Uh, wow. You either. 11 <laughs> for Fernando. He's huge. You're yes. fine. It's and a finally, <laughs> our worst I'm reward. On a tree. <laughs> I'm a three. I was like, I'm going to stand behind this rock. What are you doing? Stand and taking a leak? <laughs> Crap. Am I 16? She's like a little rock. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are lucky. Wow. <laughs> Fucking lucky. Uh, you dive behind that rock, and you and don't hear anything because to be a tree there. Lost they me. lost your trail. <laughs> <We're over here. laughs> and they turn around and they come here. back. Look here. All right, there's a twenty. Let's go. I am your leader. I wear his head. Kill these infidels. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you think that was the leader? That's cute. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking it's you guys a hard encounter. Have lucked out, but you know there is a lizard folk tribe nearby, and a pretty heavy population one at that. You probably have some patrols going out, or you can hang out here for a while. Are they even that smart to patrol? Yeah. And one of them finds you and stabs you in the chest. <laughs> Take 
94 damage. <laughs> I say we keep moving. Yeah. So let's keep moving. Okay. Yeah. Since this we got point, advantage. It appears because the shelter driveway. in places for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> so what did they like find you? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. What did I do with that book? It says the it's one it. who rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a train out by You now. essentially <laughs> grabbed a twig and did this. Yeah. <laughs> I am the tree. All right. At this point, you guys continue on forward. If you keep the drier path, you are going to end up going to the lizard folk village. I assume you're not doing that and you're going to try and sidestep it. Yeah. 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 Okay. With that, you're going to come to your first river crossing, and I need a D6 from everybody. D6. Mm hmm Three. Okay. Five. Five. Four. Four. And three. Who rolled my threes, please? Me. All right. And I think I'm the only one, right? Or did someone else roll three? Fernando did. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I apologize. One of you got a natural 20. The other got a five. Oh, God. From what? A crocodile? Yep. So, um, who wants to be odd? Who wants to be even? You call it, Carol. Uh, I'll be even. Six. Even. <laughs> I follow the least I get. I don't. I feel less guilty when I, I uh, I'm the one that gets hit. So don't well, hey, buy you know what? lottery tickets. You're... Really, you want to you want to take that 41 fucking hit points I had there for a while? <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, eight damage, and something is biting your leg and trying to pull you under at the moment. That was what do you guys like to do. Ow! Hey, stop I'll, that! I'll shoot at it with my longbow. I'm gonna shank it. It is underneath the water. I don't care. I get plus okay. 10 to my shooting. You can even sure. get disadvantage. I don't give a shit. You're getting disadvantage. That's fine. First uh, arrow, uh, 12 and 7, so 17. Second arrow, uh, 1. <laughs> Sorry, Rania. <laughs> right into Rania, yep. <laughs> Go ahead and damage for both of them. I am sorry. <laughs> Remember What's I that, Frank? Yeah, night. okay, yeah, no, that you I got a natural it. one, all right. That's right. Frank, <laughs> gotta hate how that dice rolls. Good. Yeah, I do nine to the creature. Mm -hmm. Uh, thirteen <laughs> halved is six to Rania. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, do I have? Let me check my actions here. Let's see. I'm, I was oh. aiming for her cod piece. Fernando, <laughs> what would you like to do? Is your friend is bitten in front of you? I'm gonna rush up and I'm gonna make my two attacks with my battle axe. Hey, I marked her. Disadvantage. I, I marked her. Okay. <laughs> Cut okay. off her leg now. Hey, you this have you to. said disadvantage. Disadvantage. Hey, You're swinging your great axe. I rolled axe. a natural twenty and a twelve. <laughs> Plus, uh, plus, plus my regular modifiers, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. You still hit on the first one. Okay. All right. Go ahead and roll that battle axe damage for me. All righty. <coughs> All right. A bad boy's two-handed. So uh, nine points of damage on that on that swing. And you behead the crocodile and nip right through Rainia's boots. Uh, Your toes are showing now. <laughs> Okay, next time I'll let the gator take you under. <laughs> oh, right. man. And you guys managed to cross the rest of the river unscathed at the moment. There you go. All right. Now you go back up onto dry land again, knee deep water. As you continue to tread forward, though, again, the water begins to get deeper and deeper. The trees next to you begin to grow sparser and sparser until you get to the edge of a clearing and there in the distance you can see the walls of a castle with an 18 passive perception fuck did you actually see everything or no 
You might have seen uh, everything. Roll for it and see. I know this. I, I give you your passive, man. Unless you really want to roll. You can roll if you want no, to. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck it. Roll now. Roll now, you son of a bitch. Bye. No. Um, <laughs> no, you see on the walls there are humanoid figures that appear to be standing at several of the uh, towers along the walls as well as several moving in the distance. And yeah, if you guys want to roll a perception check, I'll take all of them. Okay. 24. Good. Bye. Elven eyes. Wow, well, next. <laughs> 26. Only 26 out of all that. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I don't have a wisdom score, so a plus six perception is pretty good. <laughs> 13. 23 for Ferdinando. Ferdinando. Okay. Are blindfolds? Apparently. Uh, Aurora, hey, there's... Was that was that a Sturge behind you? Oh, that would be awesome. You could pop that and magic happens. You might even get a leprechaun out of it. Uh, we had 24 after that somewhere. Lassie and Fernando, I believe. Yeah, you see mud creatures going back and forth along the wall. It does look like they're patrolling. but they're Not lizard folk? Everything. Not lizard folk. Mud men. Another mm -hmm. unacceptable creature. And at 26, you also see all that, but your attention is drawn to the water where you know how a fish will go up and down? Yeah. This is a huge lake, and you see a huge carapace come up out of the water. And down. Do I notice what color it is? You're looking at the mud men. Okay, I'm looking at the mud men. Uh, uh, Do I notice what color it is? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Carol. It's a dark color. Um, well, that scales. doesn't matter. That's not helpful. Is it black, brown, purple, blue, dark, dark blue? brown to black? We'll say. Okay, fair. There so. might even be a little bit of green in there somewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Oh my god, guys! There's something really huge in that lake. I just saw it surface. It's huge. It's kind no. of dark brownish, to black. So to better portray this, you would assume that the valley went down and then came up on a hill where they built the keep where it was defensive. Right. When the dam broke and flooded everything, the entire village is down underneath the water. You are still a fair distance away from the walls, uh, and it's all lake now up to the castle walls. You could see with a 24, you see about half of the entrance to the grate where you are currently standing. How much are we getting paid for this fucking job? Not enough. Not enough, apparently. That's what I'm thinking. Well, uh, with someone's uh, personal background and loving to get as much from something, Princess Tetsuda has promised you a sizable reward. And I'll be giving Princess Tetsuda a sizable reward. She's actually using Olympian, my eight so... charisma. She is. I'm giving her Thanks. a gift that'll keep on giving. Her and I are actually going to get married. That you know. Sure. Hey Kyle. Yeah. Oh GM, is the what we're looking for? It's in the castle, right? You Not are looking for at least the rod and scepter of the land, which presumably was held by the king, who was in the castle at the time castle. the dam went through. I thought it was locket and signet. You are additionally trying to find a locket and signet, <laughs> if possible, but that's optional. Hopefully, they're all in the castle because yeah. they're not in the town. So there is no drawbridge or easy way to cross. We're going to have to go into this water. You're going into the water. You could try water walking. You could try water breathing and going through the village. But as your friend pointed out, there's something very large, very scaly. Uh, if you've lived in Louisiana and are familiar with some of those very large fish that happen to be in that area, yes. I'll well, answer yes. Crawdad. That's right. Right. As long as it's not Shit, I spoiled it. <laughs> it's a crawdad. Those things aren't bad. They're easy mm -hmm. to kill. Yeah. 
I'm definitely didn't. This is my first homebrew monster, guys. So oh, I'm great. curious. Now we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, you are. Yeah. So there's no boats or rafts or anything. No ships, aircrafts. And we can't see the tops of the buildings. So it's you can't see the tops of the buildings in the village. If you look again, you are seeing the keep walls, and you can see the actual the walls of the castle. You can see the keep itself peeking up above it. Yeah, but we With can't get to it. Hmm. <clears throat> if I only we had somebody that would have taken ritual casting instead of war caster. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, hey, we can send I the did water say, walkers over. You do have a potion of water breathing if you'd like to try swimming and staying under the water to avoid the mudmen. Yeah, but only one of us has that, or two mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. That's not going to help everybody. Oh no! Well, maybe our two stealthier types. I I'll will shoot say... into the water to distract the creature, and you guys can cut across. Well, we want you there too, so. Yeah, because I need to die. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, as you guys are looking, there Who's is the red a bit of. Jetum and Flosum coming down, so it does appear there is a current. If you look to the south, that would lead to where that huge waterfall is, right there. Mm -hmm. There's your castle, there's your big water thing. To the north is where the dam had previously broken. Okay. Which way was that thing swimming? Because we could, I mean, we could foreseeably circumvent it. To... If that's the only thing, sure. I mean, we could we could try to just avoid it. It was doing typically that thing that fish do up and back down again. So um, I'm going to keep towards the south, but it may not have decided to keep going south. Does it surface at all while we're standing? Because I'm going to keep watching. Is mm -hmm. it surface at all again while we're standing here talking about this? How long do you want to stand there talking about talking it? About it. <laughs> do we want a 10 minute break? Or whatever. Do we want a short rest? If we take a short rest, I'll be able to get two of my things back. Yeah, we I'll, meditate. I'll cast a uh, song of rest. I'm thinking I'd like to take a short rest and keep an eye on the lake and see what happens with that thing. Sure. Go ahead and you can make a perception with advantage if you're spending the entire time just watching this lake. That's what I'm doing. Well, it's I'm gonna empty the water out of my boots. Ooh, that, oh, that's good. That's good. Wow. Hey, if you can roll with a minute and they were both the team. So uh, that is perception. That is 24. Sure. Let's see what the fish has been doing at this point. See, if yeah, it, like, okay. see what it does in 10 minutes. Mm, you see. There is some sort of creature near the bank of the water where you guys are at, going in, taking a drink of the water, and then trying to get some of the uh, early green buds that are on the tree. A kind point. of creature. Yeah. Like a of horse. Horse. Roll a nature check. Um, I'll point that out, and hopefully someone with nature can do that. 17. 17? They rolled a 16. Mm -hmm. in the main. Uh, ba, 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 17. Some sort of scaled creature, dinosaur looking. Eight. Do we know what dinosaurs are? No one no. rolled a 20, so I'm going to say no in this situation. Uh, but you see, it's rather small. It's about your size. Reaching up, grabbing something. Who is the something. your? Which you are? Uh, <laughs> the high L side, because you guys are short. Well, I'm uh, not short. I'm, uh, I'm you see this thing going out, reaching across, and then the big thing comes up, snap, and drags it under. Well, mm. it'll be full. <laughs> you hope. So we know it's near us. Mm -hmm. At that point, the things on the wall hear commotion. They all look before slowly, diligently turning back and continuing walking. And that's low. 
All right. Just put mud on ourselves, pretend to be these mud men. Yeah, but how are we going to get across? I think that's the question. Because we've yeah, got we got to do that. There's no drawbridge or anything? No. no. Nope. This is not a moat. This is a lake. There's no bridge? No. We have to literally get How across. long does it take to swim across? You know, who of you is proficient in swimming? Did anyone choose a sea elf for chance? No, you guys are high elves? Ah, darn. If the only Marius would have uh, gone in this one. Carol metagames, not us. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. And you know damn right well I don't. Should have been a frog. Damn it. The pirate can probably swim across better than you guys can. Probably. Definitely better than the bull. <laughs> Should we craft a boat? I was saying, can we make put a raft together? Sure, if you'd like to do that. Is there any flotsam on the shore? Um, Roll a d12, please. You know, if we go up to where the dam broke and follow the current, yeah. it'll probably be faster and we can kind of angle into the area right. so the mud men can pick us off from the walls. Sure. Yeah, N there you go. I rolled a nine. Rolled a nine. Mm -hmm. To build um, a boat? Uh, there's no floatsome near where <laughs> you're at. There is, again, farther down to the south where the lake starts to narrow into that large river again, mm -hmm. and where it kind of gets caught in the um, wood in that area. Okay. So that's to the south of the wall that we're looking at. To the at. south of the wall, and you would be going upstream. Yeah. yeah I'm sure that wouldn't work. look... No, we might be best walking, uh, doing what Lascivious suggested. Well, we could go at night. I mean, Wouldn't how it be worse? Well, who can? Well, we're trying to sneak in, you know, and the mud men are going to see us if we just do it out in the day. Put mud on ourselves. Hmm. They'll get I washed don't... off in the current. In the current. Uh, yeah. So oh, we're going in the water, not floating on top of the water. Unless right. you want Fernando to uh, hurl you by your ankles into the wall. <laughs> Maybe we need to do this at night. Uh, well, well, let's go up and look at the dam to see if there's any. Yeah, let's go to the dam there. and see what we can go. Yeah, see what we can do. Do we know anything about mud men? They're made Roll of an arcana check. Arcana, okay. I wasn't sure what kind of check it was. That's not great. Does anybody else know anything about? Uh, with 18 arcana. plus 18? two, dirty 20. Okay. Everyone else? 22 for Fernando. Five. Five? Jesus. What the hell are you using? <laughs> well, she's a paladin. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, no. Lassie, you've heard They're of... so bad. Mm, mud men who come from a plane of ooze. Could possibly be that. Uh, Fernando. Place of ooze, creatures from that plane typically do not like to be here, certainly do not like to be surrounded by water. And judging by their movement, it could potentially be a mud golem. Mud golem? Okay. Mud golem, which are considered lesser, you know. They couldn't find enough clay in the dirt. Ended up making a mud golem instead. Right. Yeah, yeah, shit happens. So I say that they're probably mud golems. No, no, they're fucking ooze elementals. You know that, Lassie. Who's I know elemental? this. I've been around the block a time or two. Well, how well do they see you it? You sailed That's the seven seas. Question. I'm mm -hmm. like Sinbad, only a bigger dick. So how well do they see at night? Would I know that on a, what did I say that was, a 15? No, you wouldn't. Red, Lassie, red, red. you would say if it is a, or not Lassie, I apologize, Fernando. If they are golems, golems don't really have the best perception. Right. Yeah, they just kind of follow orders, and if nothing bothers the orders, they do their thing. I mean, uh, I'm I'm up for going to the dam and working well, yeah. way in. I want to do that, but I'm still thinking we go in at we go in at night. Maybe also the sea monster might. You know, it does need to sleep. Fernando not care. Did you want to go ahead and make a nature check for the monster you saw taking a bite of that creature? 
Ah, uh, sure. And everybody yes. saw it. So. Well, you're the one who saw it. <laughs> no, no idea. No idea. Okay. 22 <laughs> for Fernando. Uh, Fernando, I'm saying you didn't see it with uh, uh, what you rolled at the time. Uh, okay. Though you would know it's, it'll be fine. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's certainly not anything. It's a crawl dad. My my dad used to fix crawl dads. Flippin, if I die from this thing, I'm gonna come back and haunt you for the rest of your life. Oh, you Rainia! Are, oh no! You are going to die by it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, Jabroni. We're just gonna end right now, where we just all devolve in fighting each other. It's sure. not nine forty-five yet. I'm keeping yeah, on. Guys, we're, wait a we're, we're we're keeping. Give us 10 more minutes. So you guys start trekking towards the north. Uh, while you do that, uh, you are crossing some deeper water, uh, unless you guys want to call from tree to tree, in which case you actually might have the chance of avoiding some crocodiles or something. Alligators. If there's enough trees, I'm sure my acrobatics will be fine. I'll do that. Yeah, sure. sure. Fernando will take his chances swinging from mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay. monkey like. Acrobatics checks, please, and they can all be dexterity. How many? Make one for you, Fernando. You make three. <laughs> two. That's 20. Good, you're fine. Rania, make two. And nice. Aurora, make 16. 27. <laughs> 27 and 24. You're good. How many? Make, make. Make. Go ahead. How many? Uh, a 16 and two 13s. Okay. Yeah, some of them creak underneath you, but you managed to move along like a monkey. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I'm Tarzan in that bitch. And Aurora, what'd you roll for acrobatics? Only acrobatics. You... Can't do athletics. You can do athletics. I'll let I you. can. All right. <laughs> That, that changes I used everything. to be a gymnast. I, I can swing. <laughs> you were a pommel horse, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, no. uh, I was bottom on the pommel horse, actually. There you go. I don't want to hear about your love life. <laughs> 18 and 12. You are good on both of those, okay. although you do break a branch, but catch yourself on the tree before you land. In what appears to be a zombie, but you can continue on your way. Unmolested. You're welcome. I, as a PM, am amazing. You guys make it up to the. the Another four hour scenario. That's what you've done. Huh? We're not even going to get to the castle before 10 o'clock. No, it's going to go until 11 o'clock again. Hi, you guys are at the north end of the river, of the lake that is part of the river we're in and, and around north the, the lake <laughs> sure are there any felled trees yeah mm, roll a d12 against each other because i don't feel like rolling right now eight. eight roll again and frank you're the one who wants to win nine no you're gonna have to take the time to cut the trees down oh my god if only one of us had an axe if only. <laughs> if only, yeah. Oh my yeah. God! How long is it gonna? I take it these things are like freaking cypress trees, right? Yeah, more or less. They're more northern than that, so they have a decent sized trunk. Yeah. If it that... stood this long in this much water and having survived the rush and thirty years after that, it's still a fairly barely sizable tree. Right. If you wanted to go the minimum, you would probably cut down two of them, and you would mostly be in the water hanging off a truck. I don't know. You guys call it. Four if you guys want to be out of the water entirely. Do it. Do it. I still say, I mean, we've got time. Fine. I, uh, yeah. I'll do two. Okay. You got your axe out? Yeah, I got my axe out. Yeah, I'm sure I've got an axe. Thank God I got a sharpening stone. (laughs) Sure. Okay, so what do I need to do uh, to to make it through these trees? Uh, We'll just do a strength check to see how fast you do it. Are you a Paul Bunyan or are you a Carol? 
Uh, let's see. I 18. am 18. Okay. Yeah, you guys managed to get and through. Are you doing the bare minimum or are you going for four? Are you getting in or out of the water? Um, out of the water. We'll go for four. Okay. Well, no, seven. Uh, 15. 15. You managed to get your two trees down. He gets his first one and just gets winded out, and you help him finish that last one. Okay. And we'll say at this point it is nighttime. Okay. Midnight. Use the rope to lash them together. Yes. Survival check. After Add advantage. I was going to say. <laughs> 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 oh, good thing. Uh, uh, 16. So, okay. Yeah, it's on there. It's good and tight. Um, I know how to tie knots. Sure. And you managed to also figure out you might want a nice pole to steer with and with one fell my rudder of love will aim true <laughs> oh dear you really yeah. set us up for that kyle thanks uh, you're welcome guys <laughs> this water isn't deep enough <laughs> all right it is midnight you have your raft put together what would you guys like to do uh, let's go. Let's set out yeah let's have I, seen the, have I seen, I've been watching. Have I seen the monster lately? Yes, we know oh, you've been watching. Hey. I've been humping my ass trying to cut down two fucking giant sequoias over here. Yeah. For the that advantage? <laughs> Axe. Although it's night, so I don't know that really. Ugh, that was crap. Uh, 17. 17? Yep. That's 11. That's... Um... Since you've been traveling, since you've gotten here, started to watch the trees down, the first two trees, you haven't seen a sign of that thing. But as it started to get nighttime, darker, the waves have been coming up a little bit more frequently. Oh, God damn it. Doesn't this and thing... it does seem to be moving across the lake very sporadically. We're already in. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to no. take my longbow and fire as far away as I can into the water. A good idea. Sure. <laughs> so I'll, I'll let you do that. You do that. Twenty arrow goes into the water. Yep. Make perception check at disadvantage. Uh, that's a five and a four. Uh, yeah, you don't say anything. It's dark. I'm, I'm just assuming that the ripples in the water will go ahead and lead uh, it astray. Dirty 20 for Fernando. At disadvantage? Yeah. Very nice. Yep. Um, that all it doesn't it? look like the arrow attracted any sort of attention. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Not getting that arrow back. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Okay. But at this point, go ahead... Shall I break out a jaunty sea tune? Let's my do my squeeze box. You're not a yeah, go bar. for it. Yeah. No. You guys are sitting on this raft as it's going down. Who's steering the boat? I, I think I'm a pirate. The pirate. <laughs> roll the very important stealth roll at advantage because you are at night. Uh, 11 plus 5, 16. All right. You managed to get the boat across. Are you going to ram the wall? Or are you going to go to the side of it? How are you approaching this? Where is the, since I have Elvish sight, where, where is the spot with the most land so that I'll get a higher percentage of beach in this thing? The wall is the most land. As you saw earlier, the actual gate for this keep Mm -hmm. About half of it is underwater. As you get closer into the night, it is about half. You're going to hit a wall. You can either try scaling. There are arrow slits about halfway up. There are lower portions of the wall. Uh, sure, see. I'll scale because I know I can climb. Good for you. <laughs> I also have a, well, somebody's going to have to loan me their rope since I had to use it on the raft. I have a rope. No, Can you just... form it in a noose and then throw me the other end? <laughs> <laughs> you guys go approaching the wall. The part, the walkway is about seven feet off from where your raft. 
Mm -hmm. There's a large keep 25 or large um, tower, you would say. It's square like that. I can't see it right there. That's Never about... seen a square before. What Obviously, <laughs> you Jersey educated. Uh, 25 feet above the water on the other side, on the back side of the castle wall where the keep is, it's about 10 feet to climb up. Let's go for that one. Yeah. yeah. 10 foot? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You managed to steer that way. Of uh, course I do, using my picks. rudder of love. Oh my god. At disadvantage for me, people. Perception. Uh, at disadvantage. Which one is I it? will say Fernando. 18 even for Fernando. Disadvantage, you see there is a mud golem. You tap him on the shoulder. And you guys manage to bump up against the wall while he's looking the other direction. Um, so do you still want those checks? Um, the 18 was enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I see the golem, and who am I tapping on the shoulder? The golem. Your rudder man. My rudder man. Yeah, yeah. Tap so. the golem on the shoulder. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I, I bunt. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, if you're going to try and climb the wall, who wants to climb up? Okay. I can go. I can try going first. Yeah, Carrie oh, Strong shit. should go. Oh, God. <laughs> what kind of rogue are you? Are you able to climb walls easily? Uh, I don't believe so. I'm are a you a burglar? <laughs> I don't. I mean, I'm a thief. I hold my you sword are a aloft okay. to stop her. <laughs> you can climb up. Roll a stealth check. Just a flat stealth check. Oh, climbing. You have a climbing speed. The movement. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, just a stealth check? Just a stealth check. Thanks. Uh, 15. 15? Yep. Fuck. Yes. You make it up. The mud Not man. I roll a pie. What do you want? Peek up over the wall. The golem is looking on the opposite end and is walking up. Would you like to I'll, climb up the wall because he's going to start moving again? Yes. Okay. You're up the wall. All right. And I, I mean, I'm waving at them furiously too. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. <coughs> Hurry. All right. You're going up next. Sure. I'll do it. Sure. Okay. With you guys, I'm going to need the athletics check and mm -hmm. that'll determine how well your stealth is. 14. Uh, athletics. Bu, bu, bu. 18. 19 for Fernando. Okay. Fernando and Aurora, you will have advantage. Aurora, you're rolling normally because you have heavy armor. Lassie, you are rolling at disadvantage for stealth checks. And at this point, Carol, you've climbed up there. The golem is at the far corner, about to turn back into your direction. I'm going to hide somewhere. Roll stealth 14. check. Okay. Stealth. Oh, for fuck's sakes, that's a 14. Because I can't roll above a 5, apparently, on skill checks. It's skill checks. <laughs> uh, 15 for Fernando. You're good. I'm going to. Aurora. Not so stealthy. I'm an eight. You start climbing and you clank, 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 clank. Chink, chink, <laughs> chink, chink. You I had to go there, Kyle. <laughs> I did. Rainia, you managed to avoid the golem's detection, but it immediately turns and makes a beeline towards the wall. Uh, and with that, we will roll initiative, unless you'd like to do something clever and avoid a fight quickly. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That um, is for Rania. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, persuade him that I'm part of the wall. I can't think of anything to avoid a fight other than starting a fight. Um, okay. oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take, is there like a rock or pebble, something close at hand I can throw? Roll a d12. All right. We'll start with that idea. So maybe I can make a distraction. Uh, four. I push Rainy off the wall. That should create a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm, no, I'm over the wall. I'm not near the friggin' edge. 
Was there only is a not a pebble up there at the moment. Uh, what uh, did I hold on? With... I got close at hand. I got something. I got I got the bag of balls. Four. All right, I'm gonna take. Three. Hold on, I'm gonna take a dagger and I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna take a pitten One. and I'm gonna check it away. Okay, go ahead and make a dexterity check for me. Jesus Christ, uh, seven. Wow. You revealed five. yourself. Congratulations. Now we'll take that initiative. And All at right, this I'll... point, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Kyle's life's okay. like scratch now. 16, it was a 16 initiative. 16? Uh, yeah. Aurora. Initiative. Oh. <laughs> Where am I? How did I get here? <laughs> uh, Seven. Six. 14. Seven. Dirty 20, my apologies. 14, dirty 20, and 7. 7. 7. That's great, guys. That's great. What shit dice are you using tonight? I was fine before, and then it decided, nah, nah. Okay. You know, I this needed thing to uh, was about to peek over the wall, turns to look at Rania, who revealed herself. Lassie, you are climbing the last bit as well as Fernando. And uh, Aurora, you are just starting up the wall. You have your foot in an arrow slit. And with that, uh, Lassie, you get to go first again. When did Lassie become Scottish? Because it's Lassie. Fuck. Ray of Frost. All right. Roll to hit. Nat 20. You hit. Roll that double, double damage. All right. I remember what it is. That was horrible. Eight. That was bitter. Uh, Ten. Ten. Yeah. A four and a six. All right, three, yeah, two, you... three twos and a four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You managed to hit it. Part of its uh, muddy exterior freezes, falls off, and the shatters. <laughs> 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 all right. Feet falls off, shatters. You see a bone underneath all that mud. And with that, we have uh, Rainia. I'm not into bones. <laughs> yeah, nothing's in contact, but I guess I'll go up and make a couple hits at the strikes at this thing, even though sneak attack will not be a play. And let me see. There's a crap. Right. Yeah, those are terrible rolls. Um, let's say 13 hits. 13 will hit. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, but I seriously doubt it. Uh, will 11 hit? 11 will hit. Holy crap. Okay. That was amazing. A D8 and a D6. For eight, 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. Okay. We're With slapping. that. I don't know if there, this has DR resistance or whatever. Good point. Good point. Okay. Let's see. We are Does it seem to do what I think it should do? It slashes through mud, and your blade slows as it goes into it. It doesn't appear to damage it quite as much as you thought. Okay, so it does do something, though. It does do something, though. Fernando, you're up. Okay. Uh, how many am I looking at right now? You're currently looking at one. It appears to be the one um, right there so far, first round. You've been quiet. Okay. What would you like to do? All right, I'm going to... Uh... <laughs> stand next to it and just let a loud thunderous thunder wave go <laughs> try to okay <laughs> disappointing me right i hope so a yeah, thunder 15, wave yeah stand 15 feet away <laughs> no is it 30 feet where does it start where does it start from is it a range spell it is a 15 foot cube originating from me uh you're gonna hit me it's, it's what I got. Able to, yeah. What's the uh, saving throw? 
<laughs> the Again, six- you have not appeared to have alerted anyone else in this castle. Oh, okay. All right. You will alert people if you do this. Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. So I'm, I'm gonna... holding up the finger to figure out how many rounds you have left before other things start to notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take a take a swipe with the the axe. I'm gonna make two two axe attacks. Sure. All right. Uh, the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. AC uh, 10. 16. That'll hit. <laughs> AC 10. What the second cat one cat. is, uh, Play bad. the second one is a, um, yeah, 19. So hmm? both hit. All right. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. On, uh, the first one is, um, uh, sorry, trying to hurry up through this. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, ten for the first uh, swing and uh, seven for the second swing. All right, it is still up, but it is looking terrible. And every time you swing your axe through, more of this frozen mud chinks off of it. There appears to be a body inside. Aurora, you scale up the wall. I assume, unless you want to hang yeah. out. Yeah. You're up right there. Unless you take the dash action, you're not going to be able to reach this mud golem. Um, but you can attack at a distance if you would like. Yeah, I'll attack from the distance. <laughs> Good radio! <laughs> up! All right, 14 and 19. Both will hit. And then... 11 damage. Mm-hmm. That total? Mm-hmm. Total. Cool. Yeah, total 11. You fire one arrow. It goes into the side of its neck, cracks the mud off there. You fire the other arrow, other side, and it appears the bones are so rotten they can't hold it up. Head falls off, and it is dead. And? I, can we discard this over, like, the wall so no one sees the dead body? If you would like to. At this moment, it doesn't appear that any of the other golems have noticed. Yes, guys. Let's quickly throw the remains over. Um, I guess see that we could just leave it. I... No, because then it gets them like, oh my god, this guy's dead. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> I... So I don't need see. any more horns. They're golems. I can get this on here. Mm-hmm. You are right here with your golem. There are two golems here. You can't see up here, but you see a golem here and here. Three marching this way. You cannot see this building. Here's your keep. This is the inside completely flooded as well, but you do see the roof of what might possibly be a stable. Let's go over to the uh, big tower. The big one. Big one down here. Is that the one you want, Frank, or up above where up the keep top. is? Because the one this up top is This is where the, the royalty largest. is at. This is just one of the guard towers. We want to get to where royalty. We're... Royalty, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys head off in that direction. Uh, you can choose to just go through the outside, or if you want, there is a hatch up here, a little bit rotted. You could go down inside and walk across. Uh, let's try the hatch. Sure. Try the hatch, open mm-hmm. it up, it creaks. Roll a perception check. Yeah. Disadvantage. Him or all of us. Pitch black. Who's ever opened up the door? Oh, um, well, I, I've been waiting this, but that was a terrible. Yeah, disadvantage just killed me there. Uh, that's only a nine. I push her over the wall. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is perception. This is perception to see if there's anything in the okay. tower as you uh, go. Ba, 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 ba. Anybody see anything? 15. Anybody? I say in darkness, okay. see anything? You don't appear to see anything in the uh, tower. Okay. You can descend on through. You get over to the door. Who tries to open the door? Sure. So we got light. Rainia, are you being stealthy about this or are you going to be noisy about this? I have dark vision. I don't give a shit. I see everything. I see all. <laughs> you we are in dark a vision. dark <laughs> room, guys. You'll need light. We'll need to like, yeah. What? But dark 
Sometimes it would be nice to give an answer without being talked over. All right, so that's a 19 on stealth to answer your question. Sure. You go to open the door. Yep. Quietly, gently push it open, and it doesn't budge. It appears to be locked. All right. If we only had a rogue. I yeah, know. right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm proficient in Steve's tools. Is anyone helping you out by sending a light for you? That would be. Um, Otherwise, no. you're doing this in the dark at disadvantage. Oh, Bard, can you cast light? Uh, actually, Bard can't. So, but I do have a torch in my pack. So, I'm watching our six. <laughs> yeah, watch our six. This is going to go south. This is going to go south. Yes, but sure. I mean. I the think, faster you get that door open, the faster we get in. So click, click, click. Poof. All right. Oh, uh, I can press the digitation. There you go. You have a key card. Go ahead and roll. Normally, uh, as you light up the torch, you see the that there are several skeletons in this guard tower. So animated. Dead or animated? Dead. It appears or that alive. <laughs> they've had their skulls crushed against the back. Gotcha. So right. maybe the flood pushed them up. And, yeah. What's your roll, Rania? Come on. Come on, Rania. Uh, you guys are tired, so I'm like, did we just go through or did you need a roll? Um, so it's Thieves Tools, which is what? It's my, what, Dex plus proficiency? Mm -hmm. uh, what's your worst stat? <laughs> my worst stat? Come, yeah. Come on, that's wisdom. Uh, wisdom it is. That makes literally no, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Roll dexterity. Come on. Okay, so it's 10, 14, uh, and my proficiency bonus, so 17. 17? You managed yep. to get the door open. Yep. We'll roll that 19 through. You managed to open the door quietly. Um, as you get onto this walkway, there's a ladder that leads up, um, what probably was once finally made, and at the top of the ladder, you do see instead what looks to be a walking looks like a war forge without any of the metal plates it's made out of wood i like wood <laughs> what so never mind I'm i was gonna make a crude joke but fernando has tact yeah sure fernando has wood <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the crude joke. I have a charisma of eight. <laughs> yeah, Fernando has a hard on for hardwood. Yeah. There you go. So you always make the crude jokes. What is uh, what is tonight after? Why is tonight different? <laughs> because I'm player, not DM. There oh. you go. Mm. Uh, okay. I remember the first poop joke you made when I first ran a game for you, Frank. It was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> all right rainia All right, you managed the... to open the door quietly you see the tree form just walk on by for the moment all right i point that out everybody and do we have uh go the other way i guess try to avoid it i want to get to that big fucking tower which is the best way to get to the tower follow it or which way can, can we tell in here you could mm -hmm. where were you standing I don't know. I don't have the map. Yeah, I know. I have the map. So again, you <laughs> are here. This I is we were the on building the other you're side. trying to. Sorry, you are right. You are here. <laughs> Going to the other side. Shut the fuck up, Frank. There is a ladder that will take you up to the wall to where it's patrolling around this roof, which mm -hmm. is two rectangles with the line there. Okay. Um, you would yeah. assume there would be a front entrance, so I will say you know there is an entrance you could potentially lower yourself into the water and holding your breath, you could, with a good swim check, make it to the front doors. I add weight to Rainia's pockets and push her in. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out the potion of underwater Splish. and then I, I, I surface and give you two middle fingers. No, okay, I drop my problem. blade. <laughs> Real quick, <laughs> how do you drink a potion underwater? All right, I was... no, I'm kidding. You, you guys are currently on the wall. Well, you I can go you. up the ladder. You could go <laughs> down and through into the front gate. It's I want to wanna go up. I want to rather go up the ladder. Okay, go up the ladder. We got armored people here, so 
Sure. Lassie? Down, down gets us in, right? Uh, if the water isn't too deep enough to prevent well, you from opening the doors. What's at the top of the ladder? That's where the roof is. At the top of the ladder, is. there appears to be a housing structure at the very top. Pigeons. No, and no windows, no... There are no windows in and around this keep currently, no. Well, roll a d12. We'll see if there's arrow slits. You have to go down to the water then. No, there are no windows. Three. You, there are two arrow slits which allow fresh air into a room. If you want to try climbing, which you can automatically do, you can try and look into that room if you like. Find the loo. I can try that. All right. So I'll climb up. Sure. You I'll climb up, make the perception check. I'm going to say you automatically do it because you have a climbing speed. I don't see where it says climbing speed. But Are you a okay. thief or no? Yeah, it's the and the thief, arc, uh, whatever, the choice yeah. you make. The thief is the one who gets a climbing speed as well as a few other benefits. So um, tw- it's only a 12 perception. 12? You look Your in. Your rolls suck. There <laughs> is. Yeah, but I'm rolling under tens. You know, friggin' does suck. The, yeah, mm-hmm. you look in. There oh. appears to be some arcane energy flowing into what looks like a throne room that is about knee deep in water, maybe. Um, nah, you're guessing. No. Nah. Nah, and nah, these nah, lotuses nah, are nah, 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 nah. beginning to glow with the arcane energy. And you hear muttering in the background. Oh, goody. I'm mm-hmm. going to calm down. I'm going to tell everyone that something's in there. And there's a lot of arcane energy. Now, this well, is within the actual throne room itself. You would assume that the top building is maybe private quarters for royalty. Yeah. Yep. And does not directly connect. Well, there's gotta you, be a secret door in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. How, do you, how else would you get there? I guess we have to go down. We have to go down, though, don't we? I can't find any other way in. Fuck it. Push her out of the way. I jump into the water. <laughs> you don't have to I'm a it. pirate. I don't give a shit. Hiya! <laughs> you don't have to. I'm not standing in your way. I buckle right. my swash and go in. Make an acrobatics check. Uh, 17 plus 8. 25. All right. The mud golem on the roof there holds up a card that says 10 on it. (laughs) (laughs) Kiss splash. Curse splash. All right. Am I close enough for melee or do I use spells? You're in the water right now. Nothing's seen you. It's just the one golem whose job is to hold up a scorecard if you jump in. Cool. Yeah. 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 You're fine. The one who looks rather serious at the end, though, he holds up a three. (laughs) I shoot at him, then. (laughs) (laughs) That Russian judge can go kiss my ass. (laughs) All right. Are you guys following him into the water, and are you leaping in? Don't leap on me. I want a cannonball on (laughs) Fred. Yeah, make a dexterity uh, <laughs> check. Oh my god. Okay, why? What is it? Acrobatics or Acrobatics. Got- 15. If you're jumping in. 15. In you go. First one holds up a 42. Second <laughs> one holds funny. up a three. <laughs> the last <laughs> judge. <laughs> I was the last judge, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Tidal wave, you know, enough of the tidal wave to you know to swamp uh to swamp uh sure. classy. Fernando Aurora, we're gonna assume you get in the water. Just roll a D twenty for me for the fun of it. Yeah. What are the judges gonna say? Sixteen. Uh, am, am I adding thing? Acrobatics, whatever. You can add acrobatics if you like. All right. Acrobatics, uh let's see, sixteen and six, uh twenty-two. Oh, okay. You get three. Aurora, Nine. if you're going to land on me, land on me after. And the scenario. Russian judge holds up a 20. Perfect 10. Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> he likes the beef. I'm shooting <laughs> that guy. And Aurora. 
seven. Seven. <laughs> wow, you're terrible. <laughs> you get a five. You get a six. Russian Judd, double birds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys are in the water. Yeah. You are swimming at this point. Yeah. You're sinking if you're wearing heavy armor. Mm -hmm. I'm not wearing heavy armor, thank God. Mm -hmm. Searching. Searching for this rod. I'm looking for a rod. <laughs> oh, my God. Your pants. I found <laughs> one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see right. you guys swim up to the throne room. Yes. Try yeah. to open the door. There is a lot of water there. You will need a strength check. If you want to do it quietly, you need a DC 20 strength check. Holy can we at all. two people. Okay. All right. And so can we help to give somebody advantage? Uh, so do we add our strength modifier to it? Strength modifier to it. Okay. Well, you two pushing for Nando 20, and Lassie? 23. All right. I Between the two of you. Plus my modifier. You get it. Door opens up quietly. As you open the door, you can see these lotuses that are floating in this throne room, slowly gathering light. The muttering begins to get louder. Well, um, I know this place is cursed. Fernando, you're hearing, oh, just a few more days of this and then I can drown the entire fucking place. And you open up the door. There, very hairy, very muddy looking is a, a man. Long animal skin robes who is holding a rod where this arcane energy is flowing from, as well as his other hand and on top of his head, in this matted fur with a bird in it appears to be a crown with a Jesus lotus Christ. on the top there. What's his name, Radagast? Is he in the water? <laughs> he is not in the water. He is actually okay. sitting up above. This is your throne room. You guys have come in from the front door here, and he's just sitting there. Oh, sorry, that's green on green, isn't it? Boop. Yeah. Okay. He is sitting there, yellow, feeding energy into the lotus that are swimming around. Hola, como esta? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? We are visitors. We're here to groom you. Oh, nice. You've come for the crown. You come for the scepter. You can't have it. I came for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. God, this is not going to go well at all. It's not going to go well. That's a two. <laughs> oh uh, my God. Minus, minus one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at that point, kill them! Kill them all! I'm and not here that, to talk. The oh lotus God. begin to gather together, they wrap around. I intimidate and... him. Stop <laughs> it to knock it off. To listen. Is it initiative time? It is initiative time. I can't try and intimidate him. It's too late. Someone tried to persuade him that you guys were here for food. Dirty <laughs> 20. Dirty 20? All right. Uh, I came for the crawfish. 16. Hey, it's crawfish season. Give me now. half a second here. 2016. Uh, Aurora. 18. Well, 18. welcome to the game, Aurora. I'm back. Finally. I'm back. And Rainia. 24. 24. Oh, oh, oh. Look who goes first. Oh. Yeah, what is play. your uh, dex that you add to it? What'd you roll, I should say? My mission modifier is four. Oh, you rolled nat 22, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And be nice. Gonna... We'll let you go first, but. The druid swings. These lotus come together. Fireflies <laughs> begin glowing, oh, filling okay. into this monstrous creature's eyes. Yep, yep. Yeah, meh, 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 meh. Meh, 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 meh. It'd be great if we could see it. Oh. 
That is, I keep holding cow sakes. Gambling mouse. It's like a swamp monster. It or looks something. like a swamp creature. It's the swamp thing. Oh, wow. But I tear off its flowers. mask and find out who these meddling kids have found. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scooby Doo, where are you? <laughs> uh, at the moment, there appears to be eight flowers on the creature, and three of them are blossomed. Whether that's important to you or not, you know, you figure it out. I have no clue what that means. So we've got two big threats. You've got the monster and the druid. Mm-hmm. Right now, this uh, monster is in front of you. You are in knee-deep water. It is considered difficult terrain. You are moving at half speed. Uh, and you are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 about 50 feet away from the druid himself. All right, but the monster's like right in front of us? Mm, you've got 20 feet between you. Aurora, you and I are going to light this thing up like Christmas. Oh, Lord. Um, I, get, I guess I go, yeah, sorry, I get to go first. Mm -hmm. uh, I get 30 feet so I can move 50. Yeah, I'm going to use my bonus action to actually get to it. So no two weapon attacky. Sure. I don't know if this is gonna. What this is? I don't know if I get anything good. I don't think I get anything good. Roll the fucking dice. <laughs> I know. I'd love to set it on fire. That'd be fun. But I think I'm just gonna come up and hit it, or try to hit it. Uh, see, I rolled a nat twenty in that, so all of my other rolls are gonna suck. Does there you go. Does a fourteen hit it though? On the dot. Whew. All right. So that's with my rapier. AC 14, guys. And that would be uh, seven points of damage unless it is resistant or something to slashing. You poke through and it weaves in between the lines. You do pierce some of the um, roots of the lotuses, but it doesn't do as much damage as you would hope to. It is piercing. Okay. You're right. Rapier might be piercing. It is, yeah. Okay. I know everything. I'm amazing like that, but it makes me a terrible DM. With that, the lotus creature in front of you uh, takes his turn, and with that, I'm gonna get beat. That's the really water around its feet um, dips down real fast. See courses of water sprouting out, and it shoots out a bit of water from its hand. This is gonna be bad because it does it twice. Seven uh, yep. and yep. Take the 13. Dodge. 13 misses, 27. I'm going to use Uncanny Dodge reaction to half the damage. Okay. Let's see. Four, seven, three. <coughs> oh, yeah. This is actually going to be worse than what I thought it was. All right. What did you do? <laughs> what did you, you do? You take uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. Is that halved or no? Not halved yet. Okay. Oh, you're going to toll it up, tally it all, and then half uh -huh. it? Uh-huh. And then you're going to take half. 11 force damage as the water just hits you with a lot of force. 24 total, half the 12. 12. Mm-hmm. Really like that particular thing. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is going to be bad for you. Uh, the druid behind him uh, begins to cast a spell. Uh, you see arcane energy leeching off of him uh, towards the uh, golem, and another blossom begins to bloom, and the bard himself is covered in bark at this point. Bark? You bark mean skin. you mean the dru the druid is covered in the druid is covered in bark skin. I, I was about to say, hey, if I'm covered in bark skin. Yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> Did I say Fernando? I'm sorry because you, you, you are... said bard, so I was just like, hey, I'm... like huh? bark, bark, bark. Okay, Gosh, Frank, I... with your dirty twenty, you are up next. Hmm. Longbow times two, using the big red die. Go for it. <laughs> no, uh, twelve. That will miss. And sixteen. Sixteen will hit. Come on, Lassie. Where the fuck are my eights? Oh. 
10. Uh, I'm going after the druid, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are going to have to double move or take a penalty to the shot to hit the druid. Why double move on the longbow? Because this is a very large creature in front of you, mm. blocking your side of the druid. You either have to move to the left or to the right. To... Yeah, fuck it. I'll go after the creature. Okay. Uh, 16 will hit. 13 does not, obviously. 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay. Arrow right. sinks in and kind of goes through it. It does, again, slice some vines, but it doesn't do that much damage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And with that, Fernando, <laughs> you are not next because it's Aurora. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, Large I... creature, it is in front of you, uh, 20 feet. You would have to double move to approach it if you want to go at melee. How much? Wait, so how do I like get around it then? I just move and lose a turn? You essentially? You can move 15 feet at a turn. Okay. Move 30 if you want to use your entire turn and do nothing else but move. Can I still do a cantrip if I do that? Is it a bonus action cantrip? It just says, I don't even know. Instantaneous? What is I don't know. What, what spell is At that? will? It's not just like any point. Uh, at will just means you can constantly cast it. That's oh, not a point. Yep. Does I don't think there's 7A by it. Or BA. What's the spell? What's the spell? Fire, uh, Firebolt. Firebolt. I mean, yeah, that takes yeah. an action. It does. Yeah. I guess I'll just move for now. Sorry, guys. Okay. To the left or to the right? Move. Get to where you want to be. That's... that's. I yeah. assume you want to find the druid, right? Yeah, whichever way it's towards okay. the druid. Because he needs to die first. Okay. You managed to have a clear sight of the druid. <coughs> that is your turn. Uh, now, Fernando, you may go. Okay, I'm going to take my movement to sidestep the creature and look at the druid. And Fernando is going to start making farty noises with his hands and, <laughs> and cast Stinking Cloud on the druid. He needs to make a con save. Con save? Okay. Yeah. All right, where did I have all that crap written out? Can you put him at the edge of that cloud? At the edge of the cloud? Um, Make sure that you hit Rainy in that cloud too, please. No, 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 no. yeah, shut up. Actually, he. By off. the way, as you cast your spell, you feel part of the stinking cloud getting sucked into the golem. Oh crap! <laughs> and another flower blooms. Oh shit! Okay. All right. At that oh, point, so any energy we we uh, cast, any arcane, whatever, gets sucked into the golem. So, I don't know. Maybe. Apparently. apparently. <laughs> I cast um, everything I have into that golem so that it kills Rainio. 16 <laughs> um, or you're safe. He, he, sa he saved? 16. Yeah, he saved. Okay. All right. With that, we are back at the top. Rainio, you are standing in front of a golem by yourself because everyone else has abandoned you. Well... Fuck that, then. I'm going to disengage, bonus action to disengage. I shoot Rainia. Okay. <laughs> How many feet away am I from? I'm going to try to, basically, I'm trying to kite the damn golem down to the uh, to the um, druid. Uh, you can so spin around the golem without taking any opportunity attacks. You don't have to disengage. Well, it's a you bonus can just kind of spin around him and see him. How many... No, how many feet away is the is the druid from the golem? Oh, and it's ha oh, I can only get to I only move fifteen feet. Mm -hmm. Well, how many? All right. Well, to, how many? I will tell you again. If you just move, uh, use one move action, you are still standing within range of the golem, but you can see the druid clearly. That's fifteen. Are you in a wheelchair? That. You half move. It's it's. it's yeah, you it's, haven't moved anywhere, Frank. <laughs> you get yeah, it's difficult terrain. You're only moving half, so I move thirty normally. So I'm only moving fifteen per move. You understand? I want to move 
air, this fight all all to the, or at least I want to get to the Druid because that's where I'm going to be most effective since everyone's going up there. I can't do crap against this thing uh, without um, sneak attack. So, but that was my goal is to get plus also, I think it's probably not taking full damage. So um, I want to get- Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How many feet is the druid away from the golem? He is, if you say move that 15 feet, um, you would then be... I can, uh, move, I, I can move three times on my you turn. Can move three times. If you move another time, you are then at the throne pedestal where you would be out of the water but you would still need to move to get right up in his face. That's, okay, so, well, three would be a grand total of 45 feet if you have it. Mm hmm So that would get me, that would pretty much get me there then, right? Or get me to close to there. Pretty much. But All right, you would lose the disengage, and it would be able to attack you. You think? Hmm. Well, how far do you, when you disengage, isn't that, how far do you move on a disengage? Oh, you Five. don't move any. Yeah, you do. No, point. you don't. Disengage so you can get away from him without it. Disengage it. allows you to use your movement without the opportunity. Oh, okay. to... So it's two moves, so then I'll move 30 feet. Okay. You are up to the throne. You have one That's movement out of fetter, unfettered to the druid, if you wish. Well, no, that's that's my turn. Disengage in two moves. Yep. So, and go right. neener, neener, neener at the, at the column. Come chase me. Okay. Uh, at this point, the druid begins casting a spell. And... Again, another, I actually know, uh, in this turn, the blossoms close, all uh. except one, boo, boo, boo. and in that case, water begins to form up and around Urania, and I am going to need to make a... What am I going to fail? Strength saving throw. A strength saving throw? Oh, mm -hmm. this is great. Actually, it is. Holy crap, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Because. You manage to resist the water and you get pushed <laughs> back out. Uh, the lotus golem. The lotus starts golem. So amazing. Walking on the water, not taking any difficulty with that. One, two, three. Okay. Fernando, it is going after you. Okay. And it attacks you. Does a 18 hit you? Just hits. Just ah. hits. Nice. Okay. Again, the water drains around its feet. <clears throat> and out come these two bursts of water or one misses you, the other one does 16 bludgeoning and four force damage for a total of 20. Yikes. Mm -hmm. But it seems to have taken interest in you and your arcane abilities. Oh, oh uh, I believe there's a stinking cloud up, by the way. Rainia, would you uh, make a save, a constant save against that? Oh Sorry. <laughs> but, well, where did you? Is first of all, wait. One thing on Stinking Cloud. Does it originate from you, or could you locate it? I, I can locate it. I located it around located? the druid. But so, could you locate the druid? Is at the edge of it, rather than centered. Sure. Otherwise, no one can get to it without Roll having a charisma check. Be to sixty. Oh. That is for Fernando, since it's his spell, his spell casting ability. If you're high enough, you had the common sense. My my, my place it nicely. DC is fifteen. Okay. So, so. roll a 
Charisma check. Uh, well, then I wouldn't have done that. Nope. Well, me or him? He's rolling. He's rolling. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It was confusing. Roll above a 16 with a charisma check. Okay. 16. <laughs> okay. You did put the cloud at the edge of the druid, so you are fine. Okay. Okay. With that, let's go on down the list to Dirty 20 Frank. Uh, Magic you, missile on the druid. On the druid? Okay. Yep. Yeah, not bad. Four, three, two. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me take that away from you. Okay. What? As you shoot out the magic missiles, a flower blossoms. Oh, my God. Okay. Do, gonna have... Does the nine kill the blossom? Nope. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's supposed to be gaining health every time it does that, too. Mm. Sure. Don't worry, you're fine, guys. I'm at range, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> Aaron, stop casting spells at it. I'm going to cast another spell at it. <laughs> sure. Sure, go for it. No, uh, do you want to go again or do an action surge or anything else? I'll do an action surge and uh, <laughs> do I do I get both attacks or just one? You would get both attacks on an action surge. Or you can cast another spell if you want. I'll shoot at it. Okay. <laughs> a 25 and a natural one. <laughs> That's against Fernando, I'll say on that. Well, um, roll a d4. Odd for Fernando, even for yourself. Odd one. Odd is who? I think that's Fernando, yeah. <coughs> Uh, D8. Mm -hmm. Uh, six. Okay. So I take six. And damage. against Fernando? Oh, six. Oh, six against Fernando. Yeah. Six and six. So six and three. Six and three. There you go. Okay. I take six damage. No, you mm -hmm. take three because it's half. It's oh, five. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. The creature takes six. Gotcha. All right, Aurora, you are at the other end, opposite of where this Lotus Golem is beating the crap out of Fernando and gaining life energy from uh, Lassie. <laughs> um, you are still quite a ways from the Druid, and you almost have a clear line of sight if there wasn't a short human in front of you. Well, I am really Shoot sure. the human. <laughs> right. <laughs> Humans are like an inferior race, Aurora. <laughs> That's true. Cleanse us of these. They are sellers. inferior. How far away is the druid now? Kyle. <laughs> it is about 30 feet away from you. Uh, again, you are in knee deep water, and you're going to have to take two actions if you want to be able to even approach the throne. Hmm. And he only gets a plus two because I assume you guys have worked together that she's not completely blocking your view like an idiot. No. No, I would I'd probably try to stand so I wasn't blocking her view. Shoot her. Shoot her now. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. send me a private message if you want to net one Rainia, okay? <laughs> it's been known to happen. <laughs> All right, I um, shoot with my longbow then, I guess. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. <laughs> just remember, you didn't die on the explosion on the train, so just keep Yeah, I it. fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mad because I blew him up on the train. 19 and 22. 19 and 22, both will hit. I also right. had my face sucked off by some fucking creature in the That caves. was not my fault. Someone else in this party hit you. Oh my god. Did you win? 15 damage? Total. 15 damage? Yeah. Good. The druid is not looking as well as he could. Right. And before I forget, <laughs> the big blob of water also falls away. <clears throat> uh, Fernando, you are up. Um, okay, is this thing up in my grill? It's about 10 feet away. It shot you from pretty close distance, but you're going to have to step up if you want to attack it. 
Okay, I'm gonna melee uh, wise. I'm, I'm gonna rush in and uh, do my bonus action hammering horns. I'm gonna gouge it. You're gonna have to run away, run back in. Run away, run back in. Why is that? You have to do at least twenty feet of movement, right? Uh, no, I'm just taking the dash action, not not the goring rush. I'm gonna hammer horns him. So it's it's the okay. Still so go ahead. Attack, not go ahead. More. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, go okay. for it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 16. Does that hit? 16 will hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. <coughs> All right. On the gore, it will take, um, let's see. Uh, it's going to take six points of damage, and it has to do a strength save. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, eight plus my proficiency bonus. Okay. Uh, the DC on it is gonna have to be twelve. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen passes. All right, passes. You okay. boom, and it's not quite a solid wall. It's pretty soft and mushy. Your horns go in. Okay, I'm gonna and go it ahead and make... to start wrapping around you as well. Okay. Uh, do I have time to swing before this starts engulfing me? <laughs> now you just used a dash action to make your Oh, that was rush. my action. Okay, gotcha. And mm -hmm. that's where the Gulf of Mexico came from. Just kidding. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I let me see. No idea what the hell that means, but okay. <laughs> because your you name's Fernando, which is like Spanish, Spanish, and you said you're getting engulfed. Just... Oh, I get it. So Let's just cut her off, producer, right now. Um, uh, Rainia, we are back up to you. All right. Please. So, how many feet is all right? So, how many feet is away is the golem now from me? From you? Yeah. He is. Because now I notice him beating up on. He is fifteen feet away. Just get the oh. druid. <laughs> yeah, if we get the druid, it will stop his spell. You uh... hope. If not, then we find out that after. Yeah. I know, and now I can sneak attack it because it's engaged with Fernando. Nobody's engaging the druid. Uh, and it's 15 feet away. I can get to, I can move to it and hit it. Um, I'm going to do that. Plus, it's, it's trying to engulf him. So, you know, honestly, I think that's, you know, I want to try to help him there. Oh, fuck's sakes. Um, well, I don't suppose a 10 hits it. A 10 does not hit it. You ran but, up behind it. I'm sure an 11, I'm uh, not 11, sorry. Uh, 18, I'm sure it does hit it, though. 18 will hit it. That is actually my first attack. Okay, so that's my rapier attack. Uh, oh, that was good. 5, 11, 14... 17 and 4 is 21 points. Okay. Half down as oh. you... 12, so... Math, man. What this is... game sucks. <laughs> Not even mm. difficult math. That's Pathfinder. Shut up. Shut up, Shut up, man. It's the other math that's hard. Okay. <laughs> as you do that... Um, Leave it alone! The what? druid sensing trouble from arrows sticking out of his chest <laughs> uh, begins casting a spell. The water in the room starts to form up into a wall. And between Lassie and Aurora, from the wall to the entrance, a wall of water forms up. However, the water around your feet is gone, so you probably have better movement now. Um, on the other side, you next to the golem, notice that some of the water energy light glows up and another blossom blooms. I wish we had uh, um, called shots because I'd be trying to figure, cut those things off. <laughs> yeah, maybe. There are no called shots anymore. anymore. Um, and with that, the golem himself <laughs> Slams into Rainia. Oh, God. Gonna and I'm going to use Uncanny Dodge if you hit me. 
Okay, and Fernando, 23 is the low one, 24 is the high one. That'll hit me either way. I assume both hit you. 23 to Fernando. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Starting with your half damage, Rania. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Well, it's half, so it's not so bad. 26 total for 13. Yep. For Fernando, you are on the other boat. 18, 18, 19 damage. 19? Okay. 19. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Fernando, yeah. not look, look so good. Oh, no, Fernando, don't you dare. You're like our quasi healer. Don't die. Fernando, try not to. <laughs> That's why I came back to you. Anyways. Fernando likes to use third person. Okay. And with that, Frank, mm-hmm. you are up. There is a wall of water, and it is blocking you entirely from this wall. Just oh. by the So I'm blocked from the lotus creature and the druid. And the druid. Is there a gap around its flank? There is not, no. This is a wall of water stretches from one wall to the other. All right, let me do this here. Can I see through the water to the druid? You can. Charm person, DC 13. Mm, Okay. As you cast this spell, another lotus blooms on the creature. (laughs) Frank, you were such a dick. (laughs) I tried. And that is a wisdom on the druid. Is that correct? Yes. 13. 13. Oh, God. I just wish. Okay. So as you cast a spell, the magic flows through it. Your DC actually drops by two. I'm going to explain that because we just rolled an 11 on the die. It's fine. Okay. So it does not appear to have worked. But you were able to see him. Your voice heard through. What would you like to do? Or are you no, done? I already used my action surge, so. Okay. We are up to Rain- Aurora. Go, girl. All right. So I can move closer to him normally to the druid. Druid is pencil points. right here. Yeah. Is a wall of water. Oh, I am behind it. You are behind it. Here's your druid. Uh-huh. You can see through it. You may be able to make a shot at disadvantage. If you wish. Mm. I can't walk through it. Oh, sh- would you like to try? <laughs> you can always try. Gonna hurt. <laughs> can I try to figure out first if I would get hurt or not? <laughs> Are you proficient in Arcana? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, no, no. No. Yeah, you don't know. It is a rushing, gushing wall of water. If you've ever ran through a waterfall before, you assume it might feel something like that. And it touches the wall to the next wall, or is there a gap? It touches the wall to the next wall. Oh. Yeah, it's wall to wall. Mm-hmm. Wall to wall. All right. Uh, this is a good puzzle. I like this. Screw it. I walk through it. Whatever happens, YOLO, man. If I die, oh. then I die. I don't think you're going to die. Sure. You can make me a strength saving throw as you try and push through the water. It is 17. Yeah. Sure. As you go up to the water, you start pushing through and... You put your first foot in there and you feel it begin to lift yourself up into the air as this water is just kind of shooting up and raining back down. Push another step through, push another step through. You fall out the other side. 
And the damage is... Nine damage for going Damn. through the wall. Damn. Nine. And that is going to be your action on that one. That's uh, nice. With that, Fernando, you are up. Am I grappled? We're moment? not grappled. It's just a poetry of words. It's poetry of words. Poetry okay. Of words. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm. You should cast a spell. Yeah, I should. Does divinity count, count, count as a spell? What do you mean? Or is it just arcane that it, energy that it's sucking? You know, what are you going to try to do? Heal myself. <laughs> Heal yourself? Yeah. Don't know. Gotta try. Takes your chances. I've got to. I'm down to five. So, so we have a couple of healing potions. <sighs> yeah. That... Okay, what is... Uh, scratch that. Fernando taps himself. Invisibility. Peace out. He's going to get to a corner somewhere. Okay. As you cast invisibility, uh, it was a it was a shot. <laughs> you know how uh, one in movies they want to show that someone is invisible and where they're at in the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a perfect outline that everyone can see as you try and move away. <laughs> All right. Uh, and yeah. the blossom blooms. Okay. You yeah. are at. I had to take a chance. Five again. Sorry. Sure. Oh, no, I, I Don't meta, Carol. I will say, <laughs> you do kind of realize from your visibility, mm -hmm. you may get an attack of opportunity if you move away from it. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, was... Sorry, I'm supposed to be healing them every time you feed them magic. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. He's got it. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Okay. But, uh, I mean, I blew my action with turning invisible, right? right. I'm okay. just asking whether you really want to do that or not. Yeah. Uh, okay, since I have the insight. I've seen this magic, you know, I've seen flowing this out magic. every time. Okay, uh, screw it. I am just going to heal myself. 3d8 plus 4. You are drinking a potion because uh, you cannot heal. Right, yourself. right, right. I can't. What, what was the potion? Is it just the 2D? 2D4 plus 2. Okay. And that's bonus action to drink potions, as I like to do, guys. Okay. So. And by the way, I assume I assume on the potion, the two potions, that was for the entire party? Two, 2D4 plus... Not two. per person. Plus 2? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, seven points of healing. Seven points of healing. All right. You're healed up. You're partially invisible. You are still standing in its face. Do you want to move like you had intended? Yes, I do. Okay. You move away, and it appears to still be absorbing your spell. You don't take an opportunity attack. Okay. How far would you like to move away from it? You are... Let's get you back to the map. Okay. You are the blue and white. Right. You can move back into a corner. There is a wall of water right here. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to move back 10 feet. You are backed into a corner at this point. Okay. Okay. Uh, with that, I believe we go back to the top of the order, Rania. Oh, fuck. <sighs> You're all alone. Your passive perception lets you know this. Your problem is right here. You're about to get your ass beat. Um, I know. Because uh, you don't have fucking friends. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me There's move. no golden girls here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So how far away is the druid? Because this is not going to go well for me. Druid takes you one uh, move action to get to the pedestal. If you need to get to stabbing distance, you need to take another move action. Don't worry about the stink cloud. It's already dissipated by this time. Um, wait. One action. So even though the floor is now dry, it's still... The floor is not dry where you're at. It seems to have just taken the water over from there, guys, who are being blocked by it. This is not going to go well. Uh, I mean, I can, I can continue to try to hit the golem, but this is not going to go well. Sure. Uh, 
By the way, he's looking great as you stab him in the back. Yeah, no shit. Um, I'm gonna, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I gotta. I'm gonna disengage and move up towards the druid. Fuck. I don't like. I don't like any of this. This is terrible. You have disengaged. You have moved up to the druid. You are <laughs> ten feet away from him as he stands on the throne. All right. Is that all you would like to do? I think that's all I can do, right? Well, One move I action to get to the throne. You disengage to avoid an opportunity attack from the golem. All right, so I can move up to the druid. You can um, move right up to the druid if you wish. That's what I'm going to do. I assume you do not want to block uh, a very soaked, very wet-looking Aurora. No. Because he has been hanging out behind a wall with Lassie. Uh, no. Deduction skills? Huh? I'm just, yeah, I'm not going to We are done with your turn. <laughs> I'm in, okay. I'm fucked right now. I'm in trouble. True. I know I'm in trouble. At that point, the druid seeing you approach, bam, claps the rod and his hands together. You will make a strength saving throw for Thunderwave. Uh, Fernando, if you don't mind looking up Thunderwave for me, I wasn't really prepared for it. Oh, that's fine. Oh, it's a uh, strength yeah. saving throw, correct? Uh, constitution, actually. Oh, constitution, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's still going to be a 20. Dirty 20. You are good. Um, half damage, right? Uh, yes. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 2d8 thunder damage, so... Thank you very much. I cannot use my reaction on this one. Nope, nope, nope. Correct. Nope. You take two thunder damage. <laughs> that was nice. You're not pushed anywhere. <laughs> <coughs> okay. But glowing behind you ever so brightly is the Lotus Golem. I know. I'm so fucked right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and with that... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. The Lotus Golem. Um, saying that someone has escaped the wall of water, it runs up to you. Oh, I'm not totally fucked. <laughs> what runs up to me? Runs the swamp thing. No, I'm um, taking through That's the water. Me. You pass through the water. You're fine. Oh, he was already right in. Inside. I don't know you where all these cornered creatures off. are right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were so cornered confused. off in a corner. You went through the wall of water. Yeah. So that you could eventually get to the druid, I assume. The lotus golem sees you breaking through the water because you did it so loudly and charges over to you walking through <coughs> the water like it's nothing. Does a 17 hit. It does. Okay. But I'm still close to the druid. <laughs> if I had to move through, wouldn't I be like 15 feet away from this druid? You are. I'm just doing math here. <laughs> Geometry. I don't know. <laughs> 15 feet, so one move action away from being at the throne. Another move action to attack <laughs> directly. Fuck you, people. Anyway, uh, does a 12 hit you as well? No. Okay. You take 22 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> And 12 force damage as a gout of water slams you back up into the wall. You're still standing. We're just doing that for flavor. Uh, with that, Wait, 22 and 12? 22 and 12. So the math okay. there is 34 damage. Yep. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the best roll we've had so far. <laughs> Box cars and everything. Alright, well, Thanks. it's getting close to 11 o'clock. I take a knife and I kill myself, but I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can go have a cigarette. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's do... Didn't see that one coming. 2d20s from everybody, please. Alright. 12 uh, and 15. Good. Uh, 17 and a 4. Still good. 14 and 15. Still good. And you, finally for our Juliet. You ready for this? Go for it. A six and white? A nat one? Hey, you know what? No joke here. I won't even touch the dice and hold it up. I rolled a one and a six. Oh, oh shit. So <laughs> complete opposite. 
you you yourself managed to kill the druid, but you didn't figure out that you need to put the crown on in order to control the lotus golem, and it beats you to a pulp. Everyone else has thus survived. Uh, who had the highest, I believe? Uh, Lassie, you realize that you need to put the crown on. You put the crown on. <laughs> you being lawful evil and killing everybody else. I'll kill everybody else. <laughs> I'll kill everybody else. Fernando, I, Fernando I, peace out. He's just like, see you fuckers. Yeah, Invisible. I like to... <laughs> You fill up another slot in the Lotus Golem and everyone sees you walk away. I'm just like, fuck it. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, I just grow, yeah, I mean. Peace suckers. True. And Lassie, you find yourself the Fuck you, Frank. of a swamp kingdom. Uh, if you, you bother are the swamp for... lawful evil bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he is the swamp king now. If you decide to go through the ramblings of the druid, you would find out that he was intending to power up the lotus golem to completely flood the valley once again. And at the bottom I flood of the, the valley. <laughs> You kill even more people in a major city. And you know, he can kill himself too because he's the castle that he's flooding. I'm flooding the valley. And he's wow. controlling the spell and the golem that's allowing him to do that ability. And with that, we will go around the room. Uh, Aurora, Caitlin, sorry to keep you here for another three hours. Hey. I have a habit. I did cut a lot out. Hey. Oh my it worked. God. Cut a lot. Out. I mean, like, standard D&D games that I've always played in have always been four hours. So Okay, I don't know what the point of that final thought was, but <laughs> continuing on. For Nando, <laughs> David, what was your last thought? Okay, my last thought, <laughs> the Lotus Golem is uh, freaking awesome. Love it. Um. Yep. Yeah, indecision kills us all. <laughs> so it really does. Carol, speaking of, final um, thoughts. I mean, I mean the the fight was great. Um, I love the Lotus Golem. I loved your whole plot. Stop doing that, Kyle. Now I'm gonna And do on to Lassie. Lassie, lawful evil Lassie. I too like the uh, Lotus Golem. Tomorrow's show ends at ten. Yeah. Tomorrow's show <laughs> ends at ten. <laughs> Uh, Maybe. Uh, depending on who's there, it may end 15 minutes early. Yep. Uh, I'm available, Frank, by the way. I, I have Tyson. I have Ashley. I have uh, uh, Christy. And I have Big Mike. So tomorrow they're in Urbanville and they are going to see uh, uh, an adaptation from a literary great. Cool. Very also, Kyle, cool. you need to just like run a consistent series instead of one shots. Let's just be, let's just be real. Oh, that is, I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> a actually, that is Carol, did you actually idea. want to finish your thought? We, we got two minutes. <laughs> You'll just count me down again. I, so. I promise, so, I, hands behind my head. Hands behind his bed. And I, I'm, watch, I'm going to mute myself. So, I don't see a point for this now, but okay, fine. If you really want to hear it, say fine. Uh, this was great. Actually, once again, this would be a great four hour convention slot, not for a two <laughs> game. I don't know how I don't know how to tell you to write shorter because they're such interesting. I don't want to see it shorter. And I can't imagine what you cut out of it. But uh, yeah, the Lotus Golem and the Druid were a pretty brilliant uh, combination. It was a great fight. I wish we could have finished it um, one way or the other. I did. Uh, <laughs> you finished it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Rolling 2d20s at the end kind of in it. And I know we had to finish. But I was protected by the wall. You guys were going to fucking die. <laughs> yeah. I was just like going to commit suicide. Like, you know what, guys? The Druid was almost dead. So he was, we, actually, yeah. He was, yeah. um, let me read this out to you. If we finished the Druid, we would have, we would have, we would have be, we would have won. 22 hit points. He was a very low level Druid okay. with a very powerful artifact. Yeah. Mm. I mean, so we know. Um, we but with that, guys, I'm sorry, Carol, I'm going to end you off here. That's Everybody, fun. this is the Twitch stream. Next show tomorrow actually ends at 10 o'clock. Thanks for sticking around. Bingo card. <laughs> this thing for three hours on a YouTube channel.
tomorrow bingo card win some of those Italy dice that uh, apparently have just been made. Um, it doesn't help anybody in Italy, but you can tell your <laughs> friends who did and maybe they believe. Um, with that, everybody wave good night. Good night, everybody. Producer, pick us up. Wash your hands. Pick your